change the game uh, on that big stage. What's up, and everyone? Here, uh, from our fans, There's some uh, news. That week. I was we going to do the... Well, we're still going to do Fry vs. Lamborghini, but... We showed them some more. We have some news. Now, I want to talk about that because it's really interesting. You guys are going to do this huge stream right after this stream. So just I'm just looking at the clock right now in about I don't have the chat or anything. We're going to hand the broadcast over to you guys. You guys can just listen to this guy. And you're going to take it away. What are you going to be doing? Because you've got four of them, which coincidentally lines up with four seasons right <laughs> yeah that was a neat thing that we noticed as well yeah you're right one second yeah, guys my laptop is slow as four shit live streams that we're doing uh live from uh, playground games here in the uk we are we all go. set up uh, ready for that first stream uh, and yeah absolutely seasons is a huge part of forza horizon 4 as we announced that supposed uh, to get more news on more seasons today over the summer uh, and we are basically setting up each of the four uh, streams we'll be doing weekly from now until the end of July uh, based around uh, a season per stream. We're going to be going into exactly how seasons change everything in terms of the visuals of the world, in terms of the driving experience. We're going to be showing you some gameplay you've never seen before. New and gameplay. Some team members who are going to be sitting oh, in. Oh, man. Uh, they're going to be telling us about what they're doing in the game, revealing some new I'm going to take my face before. cam off uh, and also so I can record this gameplay. Uh, from the community which is a super exciting part of of tonight and uh, every tuesday stream uh, for the Thank rest guys. of july so yeah we're, we're super excited about it i think we're pretty much ready uh, to go as soon as you generously um. hand us your your viewers at the end of this uh, this show uh, and we'll see where we get to tonight now Rob, i gotta talk to you we're gonna get right into the stream after this i had no idea this was going on until like the last second and that's certainly the case with there we go. Before. but we have a new character with the seasons how do, and I know you're going to go into a lot of this later on in the broadcast, but for just to team Welcome, you, everyone. Good to have how you. How big of a part of Forza Horizon 4 are the seasons? Yeah, it's a huge feature. It goes, I think, hand in hand with the location for Forza Horizon 4, which, as you uh, as you know, is, is our home country. It's set in beautiful, historic Britain. Um, and as soon as we made that decision, it felt to us that we absolutely had... Uh, to, to build seasons, dynamic seasons into the game. Uh, and as soon as we, we knew that we could do seasons, it felt like Britain was the perfect uh, location for the game. They go hand in hand. Britain is a very uh, seasonal location. Uh, we are in the middle of a heat wave over here. Um, so the country looks um, fantastic at the moment. It's bathed in sunlight exactly as it is in the game. And tonight's stream is going to be about summer. So we're going to be showing you the summer uh, of Forza Horizon 4. We're Figured be you guys would want to see this first. So. Uh, that nobody's seen before. Um, and tonight is all about exactly how seasons changes everything. Now, of course, like, like Ralph said, you're, we're just about three to four minutes away from their live stream. You don't want to move. You don't have to go anywhere. You're just going to want to go to mixer.com forward slash Xbox. And that's where you're going to watch uh, Ralph and the team. They're going to be doing uh, today. We've got summer. And then what's the schedule? You've got, you've got three more streams after that. Right, right, right Ralph? I'm going to talk to you guys in the Absolutely chat, so I'm not tonight. talking over uh, these guys. Next Tuesday, uh, we're going to be on again. We're going to be in autumn. We're going to be winter uh, the following week. And then for our final stream on July 31st, uh, it's going to be spring. So we're going to be following the whole year of Horizon uh, through over the next four weeks uh, of programming. But we're going to be showing you so much more uh, besides we're going to be talking about cars tonight. We're going to be talking about uh, player houses, which is a feature we mentioned at E3, but didn't really go into any detail. We're going to be showing you our character customization uh, feature which is entirely new for forza horizon 4 we're going to be going into some depth uh, and as i said we're also going to have team members dropping by uh, we're going to be showing you some fun things that, uh, that that are jumping out of the game at us at the moment and obviously also we're going to be answering those questions now i have to ask you you've been working on the game for quite some time do you have a favorite season um, yeah, it, it's funny actually. I do. So my favorite, um, my favorite season in the game is, is winter um, because it is just such. It has such a stark beauty. Um, you know, I think it's better experienced in the game than maybe it is actually in Britain uh, occasionally. Um, but but definitely the, there's a beautiful um, s serenity to the world. The trees all lose their leaves. There's mist. Um, and yeah, I think it's a very beautiful time of the year. Uh, but I think you know, speaking about it in the studio, everybody here has a different favorite, and I'm sure uh, our fans are going to be no different. Ralph, thank you so much. Good luck on your stream today. I want to thank you for chatting with us. We'll see you in just a couple of minutes. All right, Forza Horizon 4 releases October 2nd this year, and in just a moment. We'll hand things off to Playground Games for their summer season live stream spectacular. Now, Inside Xbox, we'll be back with big news next month, live from Gamescom in lovely Cologne, Germany. Stay tuned to Xbox Wire for details 
on the exact date and time. And now, if you're watching us on Mixer channel, stay right there. But if you're watching somewhere else, head over to Mixer.com forward slash Xbox and enjoy an exclusive gameplay live stream for Forza Horizon 4. It all starts in just a couple of minutes on behalf of everybody here, including Graham. <laughs> goodbye, everybody. Bye. Say goodbye, Graham. Okay. I think I'm going to be able to talk for a little bit. <laughs> so, thanks for supporting, guys. Welcome to the stream. We are going to be doing Ferrari versus Lamborghini, just as expected. I'll get the face cam back on and everything. Uh, the stream starts shortly. Maybe we'll take a little break. Maybe I'll get my face cam back on here. But yeah, I just figured this is valuable info for all of us, so you guys are probably going to want to see it. I got no hat today. Nice bald head. I'm loving it. <laughs> I I don't know I I kind of like having a bald head it just it just hides my hairline a little bit look at this look how high the hairline is oh my god I'm getting old man I'm getting real old but um it should start up pretty soon I'm thinking maybe I'll start up a Horizon three thing or is this gonna start right now Let's wait to see what this little blue dot is doing first Oh my god that is it just me or is that really loud <laughs> Anyways, let me get the open lobby set up because my computer should be able to handle all this going on at once. So we'll get the open lobby set up and then once they start talking again, we'll jump back into it. I hope you guys get some new info in this. You racing S2? Yeah, S2. Could we do X class? The Centenario is going to be taken out of the mix because we know what will happen if we allow the Centenario. So for all the Lamborghini fans, which is me included, we will not have access to the Centenario. Just a heads up, everyone. So, guys, if you want to get your cars ready, get an S2, an X-Class, and an S1 ready. Just in case. And it might be smart to get an off-road car ready, too. Don't do X. Get one ready just in case. We'll see what happens. But I would say get some cars ready. Not the Centenario, because Centenario is an easy W for Lamborghini, let's be honest. Super easy. What about drag? Uh, drag is great because we have the 458 versus the Sesto Elemento. Drag is going to be um, S2. Should I make drag S2 or X class? Let me know, guys. And by the way, how is the music over my voice? Because maybe I have to turn down the audio a little bit of their stream. And I'm streaming on Mixer for the first time today, guys. So if you want to follow and support the Mixer, uh, it's just Mitchell Phillips, one word, no space in between Mitchell and Phillips. Feel free to follow me on there. Uh, I got two votes for S2, three votes for S2. All right, we're going to go S2 on the drag race, guys. The drag race will be S2. Make sure you got your S2 Lambo, your S2 Ferrari ready. Damn, look at that Aventador SV, man. So right now, they're just in the... Uh, How's the, how's the audio, guys? All right, Javier says it's fine. Awesome to hear. Uh, right now, they're just in a little intermission or what you have it. I don't know. I don't I really don't know. But we're going to get this lobby started up, man. I'm stuck at 30 frames a second. That's all good. We'll fix that like that. What's that, Cameron? I don't have it started yet. Oh, my controller's off. I was wondering why it wasn't responding. Thank you all for being back here. Let me actually give you by name. Let me say hi to you guys. If I miss you, just come back in the chat and I'll catch you. What is going on? Welcome to the stream and thank you for supporting Guy, Minute Elf, Jason, Sterling, Elite Gaming, uh, M DJ. You want me to call you DJ, right, Mark? I can't remember what you asked me to call you before, but either DJ or MJ. I'm not sure, though. Probably MJ, but I remember your gamer tag is like Mark James, DJ. I don't know. I don't know, man. Loud AF? What's loud? If the volume's loud, Elite, let me know. Uh, ooh, handsome poppy looking fresh. Thank you, man. I'm glad you're liking the haircut, bro. I like it. I mean, this is what you have to do. When you have a bad hairline, you can't, you can't, like, style your hair. Like, you can't line it up or anything like that. You have to just shave it. Like, that's it. That's all. It's the only thing I can do with it. I vote for Lamborghini, but I don't mind it. I actually like it like this. Even though... It shocks other people. I like it all. I don't know. So I decided to go no hat today. I got the hat. I got the hat right here. But no hat today, man. What is going on, Aaron? Tammy, appreciate you guys. Welcome. Stampy8 plays. Zachary Bledsoe says, Mac, 
When I can, I will no doubt give you $500. <laughs> no pressure on that, man. Thank you so much, though. Cameron, what's up, man? Redman, welcome. I right, Samuel GT2. Aaron, you changed your uh, your profile picture. It's loud AF. Maybe I need to turn it down a little bit. Sac. Oh wait, wait. Sa Seco Rose. Did I say that right? I really hope I did. It's good to have you in here. Welcome, gamer cam. Cool pants, man. I love cars. Hey, why don't we get a good view while we're waiting for this live stream to start back up? We have some nice new background music <laughs> right now because they're live streaming. I gotta get this track. It's pretty chill. I would join, but my Xbox is being a jackass with game discs. Damn, bro. That's the struggle. It's already here. I sort of profile pick out. All right, off key. Sounds good. You might me twice. I said you twice. Is that what you're trying to say up here? Team Aiden says, hey, Johnny Mitch, what's up? My name is not Johnny. Mitch works, though. <laughs> what's up, man? Welcome. Maybe you were just talking to two people at once. That would be a good explanation. I don't have any money to get next class. Well, do without for now. You might have to rent my car. Hopefully, you're on Team Lambo. Motor Trend just recently announced what cars will be this year's best driver's competition. Yeah, what, what cars are those? What cars are those? I'm in my S1 Diablo, call me MJ. All right, man. You missed me twice? What? I, I, I'll be here. Welcome, man. <laughs> if I didn't say welcome, What's sorry, bro. Welcome to the oh, 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 oh. For live Shit. From Playground Shit. Games. I am joined by Ralph, who you'll see hey, just on Inside Xbox, and also Ben, who is the art director. Oh. And join off of Ralph's comment as well. What is your favorite season? Uh, well, so... I would say winter, but I can't say the same thing as Ralph. Um, so I'm gonna go. I, I'm gonna actually genuinely autumn is my favorite season. I think there's there's like a there's a coziness to it, and um, I think in real life it's also my favorite season. There's something about that time of year. It's the trees, isn't it? You just love the trees. Which yeah. we're, we're going to get onto in a, to a yeah. second. But <laughs> Ralph, uh, for everyone watching at home, I think uh, you can just tell a little bit everyone a little bit about Forza Horizon 4 for those wondering a bit about the game. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Larry just reminded me uh, on uh, Inside Xbox that it's been a month since we were at E3, which it seems like an eternity, right? Um, yeah, we announced the game then. We were on the stage. We had a demo. We were doing some presentations. We got great feedback um, from that week. It was great to, to finally announce the game to our fans, which we did, and also to hear their feedback. And we've been hearing it since. Uh, it felt like now is the time that we should uh, we should start showing them more uh, of this enormous game. Uh, so as we said at E3, it, you know, it's it's still set in beautiful historic Britain. Yeah. Uh, it's still a game in which seasons change everything, and these two things go go hand to hand. And and seasons, I think, is probably our entry point to to this live stream and. The, and the live streams that we're going to be doing through July. Yeah. Uh, we are focusing on summer tonight, and as I said earlier, we're going to be uh, showing autumn and winter and spring uh, over the next few weeks um, of July. Um, but we're going to be showing lots more as well. You know, yeah. as, as you know, uh, Ben is here. We have a bunch of team members uh, who are going to be swinging by. We're going to be showing some features that maybe we've mentioned but not really talked a great deal about and certainly the thing you can be certain of is uh, we're going to be showing you gameplay uh, that, w that nobody has seen before outside this studio. Now, I'm really excited because in this live stream we're going to be taking a look at summer as we've said but one thing to keep in mind as well we are playing on developers build so this is an early look at the game this isn't the final product that's going to be going out but we're going to see lots of awesome features lots of awesome footage taking a look at summer as well uh, we're going to be looking at skies houses customization I'm really excited. Should we start kind of like hop into some games? Because I'm, I'm sure everyone at home as well is the same. That's, uh, we want to start seeing some gameplay. Yeah, absolutely. We want to hop in, see what we've got to be excited about. Um, so first things first, we're starting outside outside one of our homes. Um, what's the main features of summer? Oh, um, damn. So that's a good question. Let me just go back to something you just said there, which because I think it's a, um, a, a very important uh, caveat. Yeah, we are. We're still in development. Um, we are still working really hard. Uh, and I think we're about three months out from, uh, from launch. Mm -hmm. So this is a developer build. Um, it is uh, still a work in progress. You might see some bugs uh, in there, but I know you'll forgive us for that um, because um, I, I think it's really important that we start showing our fans more of this game yeah. after having talked about it. We got the jackals from Motive Whip out here. But to, your, to your question, what are the features of summer? Um, I think what we're seeing right here is is kind of actually 
exactly the kind of summer we're seeing outside. Hot. The, <laughs> the, the hot, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, we said at E3 um, that we wanted summer in Forza Horizon 4 to be like the perfect British summer. And I yeah. think some people may be like, <laughs> sniggered a little bit because uh, British summer doesn't have the, the, the greatest reputation. Um, certainly we're in the middle of a heat wave here, it's been 30 degrees, we haven't seen rain in weeks. Everyone would be like, oh, if, if this was an English summer a few years ago, I'd be like, this isn't summer, there's no rain, there's no wind, it's just like a couple of days of sun and normally everyone's really happy. Yeah, yeah. Um, but one thing as well is like, uh, for everyone watching at home, if you've got any questions about Horizon 4, do drop them into the chat. Uh, both Ralph and Ben will be answering them. Um, so anything you've got, I'll put your questions in the chat right now. But Ben, I know you love the trees. What's up, Aaron? Right, it's like, I, we, we've talked about it all day, right? Can you tell us a little bit about the trees in Horizon 4? Sure, so I, it's fair to say every, every location that we go to with a Horizon game poses certain challenges when it comes to visuals. And, um, and Britain is known for being incredibly green in summer. It's one of the things, when you have people who visit you from other countries, I don't know whether you've had the same thing, but people always go like, I can't believe how lush and green this country is. Um, and so, so that was, that was obviously a big focus for us this time. So we spent a lot of time completely overhauling all of the rendering work that we put into our foliage. So um, all of our foliage shaders now do some really cool things, like they model the transmission of light through leaves, they model the specular across individual leaves, and it's all built up to give us the, the sort of rich variety of different types of foliage that you have uh, in Britain uh, that you didn't necessarily have in locations like Australia, for example. Yeah. It just, it does look absolutely gorgeous because you've got like individual leaf, like render it, like you've rendered it individual leaves now, which will kind of yeah. like change the shadows. Yes, uh, per pixel lighting is the, is the fancy term that we, uh, we throw at that. That's what that is. Per pixel lighting. Yeah. Because it's summer as well, like the, the arc of the sun is different to other seasons, isn't it? So absolutely. you're going to get different shadows and different colorings on the on these trees. Yeah, sure. So um, here's a, a cool a cool bit of backstory, actually. So, so right back when we were first um, investigating the tech that is now inside um, this game in terms of how the lighting is being reproduced, uh, we did some some sky captures, some uh, sky data captures, and we threw it actually on the uh, Horizon 2 environment that we had back then on the Amalfi yeah. Coast. And that capture was taken uh, from the UK uh, in the middle of winter. And so it had this real stark kind of beauty to it. Um, but it was also quite 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 a bleak look. And we threw that on top of uh, Amalfi, and instantly it kind of had this weird thing where it's like, I've never seen the Italian coast looking wintry Winter. like that. Yeah. Um, so so we, we knew that um, having the correct seasons captured and, and replicated in game was gonna be a huge part of making sure that that authenticity came through with regards to the lighting model. So, so this is this is true for this. So this is a, a capture that was actually taken last summer. So I don't, I don't know whether you remember, but actually it's, we it's talk about the, Yeah, we talk about this summer being amazing, but last summer was also pretty incredible. Yeah, um, so it's a, it's a good replication. We've yeah. also just got some questions into the stream. So the Rangers ask, where are all the potholes in the roads? Oh, they are, they are. In fact, we, we just went literally just <laughs> passed yeah. one. Good time, man. That's what you want. <laughs> um, yeah, so, we, so uh, actually, on the subject of potholes, we, we uh, have a process that we use in the studio called photogrammetry. Yeah. Basically, where you take a ton of photographs of something and it will then reconstruct the thing you took the photographs of in 3D. And we actually did that with the potholes in this game. So we actually took people out and they did scans of real life potholes and they are... So these are real potholes they along are the British road. Potholes real well, yeah. British yeah. potholes. You know, yeah. you've got to carry that history across. This is the <laughs> British pothole. Uh, we've also got a question because this summer, summer is obviously, it's hot, it's beautiful. But one of the questions is, will it still rain in summer? It, yes, it, it will still rain in summer as it, as it does here. And I'm, I'm sure it will. Still this summer, it's going to rain, right? I um, hope so. <laughs> eventually, it has to. The reservoirs um, are running out. But yeah, I mean, obviously, I guess a big thing about the, the seasons is how weather conditions change uh, amongst them. What we've gone for, as uh, I've said before, is kind of like the perfect British summer, um, recreated in, in the summer of Forza Horizon 4, uh, which means it's hot, which means uh, the, the sun is high, um, but it's still going to rain and it will still rain yeah. during summer probably just less so than it does in spring and autumn, which are much more uh, our, our rainy seasons, I guess. Like, one of the things, like, talking from weather is the thing that makes me excited about seasons is it's going to help complement different racing styles. 
So like in winter, I can kind of see drifting being really effective because you're going on ice, uh, while in summer you could be like straight road racing, you're going to be able to get those speeds. Is that something that you expect players to experience? So I, I definitely think different seasons will complement um, like different styles of gameplay, different uh, types of gameplay. One, one thing that we have really been um, uh, really at pains to ensure within the game is that you can still do everything and have fun doing everything in every season. Right? Yeah. That's incredibly important to us. Um, so you, you can do everything in summer that you can in winter or, or autumn and spring. Um, it all still works. Obviously, the seasons will change the driving experience. And, you know, at its most extreme uh, in winter, you're going to have ice, you're going to have snow. That's going to change up uh, the way you tackle corners, the kind of cars you take into races. Um, but you can still um, take out a supercar and drive along a, a road which is clear of snow yeah. um, in winter, and you can still have fun with that. We don't want to gate anything uh, behind seasons. So there's another thing with seasons. As we know, in winter, lakes are going to freeze over, and you're going to be able to go and like kind of visit areas that you wouldn't be able to see in summer. Is there anything like that that in summer that's going to change, like with the heat? Is it going to like? Is there anything that's going to change? Yeah, absolutely. So, so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you know, it's like, still with us. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah. I just got I got carried away looking at the the game. I don't um, blame you. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, actually, the, there is a really good example. So, um, we uh, it's another water-based example. So, our rivers, uh, a couple of them, completely dry up in summer. So, um, there are there are numerous races that might take might make use of said river. So in summer, you can imagine that the race is very different. The yeah. experience of driving along a dry riverbed is very different to if it's running uh, well, yeah, with water like, in you know, you, know, um, right. you might even want to reconsider which vehicles you use for, for, for said <laughs> challenge, right? Um, so yeah, so there, there, is, there are definitely other examples. That, that, that's really exciting. It's gonna make. It's one of the things that I'm most excited about seasons, like trying out different parts, and it's that extra level of exploration because the game looks completely different yeah. in winter compared to summer. So E3 demo, we talked a little bit about E3 earlier, is that on the demo you use the exact same road, and it felt completely different in summer compared to winter. Yeah. Yeah, and a lot of people didn't, I think, didn't get that about the E3 demo um, because when you went from autumn to winter, that road just looked and felt so completely different. And you know, when we said, "Oh, that's the same road," you know, they were surprised. Like, is that, is, is it really? So I, I think to your point, yeah, absolutely. People will be exploring the world when they first get the game, but they're going to be exploring it like four times over. You know, yeah. Because every time the season takes over, um, there's going to be changes in the world. There's going to be new opportunities. There's going to be um, different things that you can you can do and see. Yeah, because like the streams that we're doing, because we've got another stream next Tuesday, is week on week, the season changes. Is, is that right? So that's right, yeah. And I think I think that's a, a hugely important sort of concept within the game. Um, it ties into the concept of Horizon Life. It ties into the fact that um, Horizon is now a year-round uh, affair rather than just this thing that, that happens like forever in yeah. summer. Um, and it's the fact that um, seasons change everything, visuals, gameplay, driving experience, events and championships, uh, and they do so for everyone every week. Yeah. And I think there's, there's a really important sense of um, collective experience that comes from that. You know, I think everybody is going to be experiencing it together. Everyone's going to be talking about the things that they're looking forward to or the yeah. things they've found when it ticks over. Uh, and I think that's going to be a hugely important um, aspect of the game as we you know as we get past launch it's, it's gonna be amazing because it's like that moment that you may of race in winter and it's just like you may be really comfortable with found saying in winter so like i'll oh, just wait till it gets to winter it's going to give these like experienced players so yeah. to talk about and like throw back to which is really cool uh, another question from the chat as well is tell us the size comparison of the map compared to forza horizon 3. sure so it's um it's almost exactly the same size as forza horizon 3's map um, but obviously you'll be experiencing that map in four completely different scenarios. And as we said before, they, 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 you know, that, that seasonality changes absolutely everything. Um, dramatically changes the visuals in the, in the world and the driving experiences. Hmm. So also talk about like ecosystems. I think I think it's it's wait hold on it is ecotypes. Um, so Dan Dante, <laughs> I was just like ecosystems ecotype. No, I remember uh, Dante said, what area of the UK is this based? Um, so, I think so, nice that's, so that's a good, that's a good question. So the whole world, um, the whole the, the Britain that we have built, um, is taken from all over the United Kingdom. You know, so 
Uh, currently, we are, I think we're in the Lake District. Are we, we are, in the Lake yeah, District? yeah, near Devon Water um, at the moment, actually. That's right, yeah. Uh, you, I think you've seen bits of the Cotswolds as well, just as we've been driving around. Um, but there is the Yorkshire Moors, there's the Welsh Valleys, uh, there is the Scottish Highlands, you know, so we've got bits of Glen Cole, yeah. Glenfin and Viaduct. Um, we've got uh, the city of Edinburgh. There's a, there's, there's a lot of Scotland in the. Uh, <laughs> I, I wonder. I wonder why. Strangest thing. Did, I, uh, did, did you have any influence on that, any chance? No, but I was pleased with the decision. <laughs> so I, I so, bet you were. Um, so yeah, so we've kind of uh, we always kind of do like a greatest hits of whatever location um, we, you know we, we visit with the Horizon game. It's exactly what we did with uh, with Australia. Yeah. You know we didn't build the whole thing, um, but we. we it's we like the, taking little the parts of it. To kind yeah, of the most beautiful bits the most interesting and fun bits it's exactly what we've done with uh, uh, with Britain as well and it's it turns out it's an incredibly varied mm. uh, world I mean Britain I kind of feel like we've kind of rediscovered Britain ourselves yeah, yeah, from 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 making this game I think the majority of the team here at, at playground are from you know from Britain it's um, I, I, I noticed just having a little play on it earlier is the little details like the road signs like the road <laughs> signs, and like you're going onto the motorway and you're like Hold on a second. <laughs> it's like actually being in England. So, so that that was exactly the thing that got me as well when they, when they went in, um, and we always sort of we we talked about the feedback we got from Australians last time, and the, one of the things Australians went like really nuts for was the wheelie bins, <laughs> I, and we were just like, and the phone booths as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We were yeah. just like, cool. Um, <laughs> And now I, I totally get what they were saying because it's kind of the little things, the mundane things. If you're from this location, the, the blue motorway signs, yeah. you're like, oh, yeah, you can really you realize that. And then suddenly you just kind of put your foot on the accelerator and just go, yeah, like, yeah. go down a little yeah. bit faster. Um, also, another question from the chat, uh, which you're like mentioning Edinburgh. Bishu Satsuma asks, are there any castles? Oh, the oh, there are, there are, there are a few. <laughs> there are. There are. Uh, yeah, so, we, so as well as some of the locations that Ralph mentioned, we've got uh, Bamba in there as well, which yep. um, people from uh, the UK will probably recognise the name of. It, so that actually has a really cool, huge castle that we've uh, created as a gameplay uh, arena. So you can play um, modes like King and Infected there. And that is also set on, right on the edge of a beach. So it's like this really cool, dramatic visual where you get this massive coastline and then this... That's kind of look beautiful. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's I, I, can, I can just imagine this kind of like, I can already see people making like time lapses of like all the different yeah. seasons yeah. and going back to like b bits, like different points like Bamba Castle and just kind of like it looking absolutely stunning. Uh, but another question from the chat from Octopus Decoy. I want to know if mud, about mud and sand dynamic. It's quite mm. beaches. How's that going to work in summer compared to different seasons? So, so yes, like, like we were saying earlier, hottest season, least rain, um, you know, the water levels drop, the earth is all kind of baked and hard and dusty. Yeah. Um, so you don't get, I think I'm right in saying you don't get mud in, in summer? Uh, you, you will, but only where it's really, really saturated. So right, you get like right. a, the edge of a puddle or like a big lake. Gotcha. You get like a little gotcha. Bit. So much, much less than you do in spring or, or autumn, which are obviously have, have higher rainfalls. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad Octopus, um, Octopus Decoy brought that up because deformable mud, deformable sand are both sort of kind of new features that we've got in the game. Uh, and I think it being autumn next week, you know, we'll, we'll stream, get to see a little bit more. I think we'll do a bit. We'll do a bit of uh, deformable, deformable mud. Also, next week, yeah. also, right? Can we knock over some red post boxes? Right by uh, Tyrannies. <laughs> yes, and it is as satisfying as you would have imagined. The, the letters go flying <laughs> everywhere, and like the post. You've got it. Yeah, absolutely. Now, now I kind of want to see a post box get. Here. <laughs> if, we can, if we find a post box, we'll try. I feel like there's one. probably one in Ambleside if you want to. Yeah, yeah. Cortana's just asked, right? Because this is actually something we'll see later on in the stream as well. What kind of animals can we expect? Bunnies. Oh yeah. Sheep? Oh yeah, 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 absolutely. So um, yeah, you'll see bunnies uh, splitting out you. across. Oh, there you go. We, yeah, we've perfect. got we've timed this well every time so far. <laughs> Potholes, pothole, sheep. There we have them. Yeah, um, and you, see, you might see the odd deer, for instance, in yeah, the, there are the deer. north of the map. Um, some chickens, uh, all of which are fantastically um, adept at avoiding cars. It's yeah. Of course, like if you if you like, I'm just going to spend a lot of time trying to see if I can hit them. Like it's going to be <laughs> something we're going to try out later, see if we can manage. Um, but also, something that I, I blew me away as well is how you said because of how much detail has gone into every single season is the sheep. They've got like more volume 
when it's colder. <laughs> Dude, that's one way about it. You know, like more volume, there, like you're shitting uh, them a little bit. Yeah, their their wool is longer. Their their coats are longer. Yeah, so they get more shorn. Uh, they have more volume. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they have been using some volumizing shampoo yeah, or something, they, you know. They just step out the salon. <laughs> they get shorn in spring, is it? Or summer, uh, I think. No, it's summer, yeah, because they get hot, right? And then okay, you have it, and yeah. Then, yeah. And then, okay, and then they're longest. <laughs> so, yeah, they do, there they're are, yes. They get they, the shampoo out they, in the winter. Oh, there. oh, okay. Right, and there we go. There so, you go. That was pretty satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so our sheep are very oh, there by season. Right, it's a good thing. And um, so, actually, I think it's going to be getting to a good point to start mm -hmm. heading over into houses as we've just gone into a, mm. into a house. So what we're going to do now, guys, is because E3 was a month ago, which has just absolutely flown by. For those of you that might not have seen it, here's all the action that took place. Let's take a look. Today, I am excited to show you the world premiere of Forza Horizon 4, set in beautiful, historic Britain. Forza Horizon 4 features dynamic seasons in a shared open world, and seasons change everything. Forza Horizon 4 is coming to Xbox One and Windows 10 on October 2nd, and I am thrilled to announce that it will be included in Xbox Game Pass on the same day. When Horizon started, you know, Ralph came out, the trailer, you know, people were just screaming. So it was great, you know, sitting in the back, Alan and I kind of took a seat back in the mezzanine. And just watching the reaction ripple through the crowd was just fantastic. To make that announce live on stage, represent the team back at Playground as well, um, yeah, it was a real thrill. We have just unveiled the beautiful McLaren Senna. Andy, thank you so much for bringing this wonderful machine with you. Hey, thank you, Graham, for having us here. It was an honor to be here and launch the McLaren Senna at the Mixer booth. Tell me the specs for this thing. I mean, just how fast is it? It is incredible performance for a road car. It's 0 to 60 in 2.7 seconds. It has, um, as we said, 800 horsepower, 800 kilograms of downforce, all coupled to a car that only weighs 2,961 pounds. It's fantastic to have it as a cover car for Forza Horizon. Graham, it's fantastic to be here. It's been great to be a part of Xbox here at E3. All right, everybody, there you go. The McLaren Senna, absolutely incredible. You've seen it here, and don't worry, you'll be able to experience it for yourself very soon in Forza Horizon 4. <laughs> E3 was absolutely incredible. I, I'm still so amazed. Every time I see that center in person, it looks glorious. Uh, but I am now joined by Grant, who is the senior game designer, and then also Harry, who is the uh, lead animator. So we're going to kind of be looking at houses, which I'm really excited about, because there's a really awesome yeah. new feature, and then like, also character customization. Uh, but before we kind of get into that, what is your favorite, favorite season? Because it seems to be like the running theme of the, of the stream so far. Favorite season? I think my first favorite season don't is, say winter i was gonna say summer my favorite <laughs> right. season, my favorite season is um summer i think i just i love all the asphalt roads we have in the game I yeah think they uh are really amazing to drive in summer and also um other than you know this summer previous summers have been a little less great not not us, like so not like how they are in the game yeah, it's, it's so like lucky yeah. it was captured last right. last year exactly so in, in horizon 4 you get like a week of summer which is more than usual yeah, you, we normally get like a couple of days and then we gotta be happy with that till the next year. It's like anytime you go abroad, you're like, oh my God, there's actually yeah. the sun. Yeah. Like, this is real. Uh, what about you, Harry? Uh, for me, uh, autumn's my favorite. Uh, I like the color change, uh, leaves all over the road, big piles and things like that that you can smash to bits. It's, it's really cool. It's, it's fun. I, I, see, the thing is, I, I'm kind of leaning with Ralph towards winter. I know I said don't say winter, but I quite like the, I, I do quite like the snow. It's like kind of in Forza Horizon 3 of this mountain. It was just like, I loved it and it's like really fun too. Uh, but shall we also remember, guys, if you've got any questions, make sure to put them in the chat below. We'll answer them as best we can. If you've got anything about houses, customization, anything you're seeing during the stream, do make sure to uh, let us ask, put it in the chat and we'll be able to answer them. Um, but yeah, player houses, what are they? Yeah, right. So um, I'm really excited about player houses. Um, it's a feature that I feel like we've uh, designed alongside our community. Mm -hmm. So there's a really cool story when we released Horizon 1. 
there were all these threads we saw on various forums where people would park up a car outside a house in Colorado in that game. They would take a picture and they'd post it to the forum and say, this is my house in the game. This is like where I live. <laughs> uh, and that was like really inspirational for us. And I actually used a lot of those um, photos when I first started talking to people about this feature to, to kind of pitch it. Um, so uh, yeah, so in Horizon 4, it makes sense to do it now, right? Because now you're at the festival all year round. Yeah. So you need somewhere to sleep. Yeah, you, you, ca you can't just sleep in your car, even though I tried yeah. to argue earlier that you could sleep there as a you blanket. Probably not in winter, but no, yeah, it's a bit also cold. Yeah. Bit, a bit cold or a bit hot, you yeah. know. It's like, so um, what, what are you able to do in the player? F actually, first of all, how many player houses yeah, so are there in the world? So there are 12 houses. Um, there's like a huge variety. So when you start the game, um, we kind of give you one after the first hour or so. Um, and then from there, you're free to go explore, discover them. Some of them are really well hidden. So my favorite is just is deep in the woods. It's this, I think it's a, called a huntsman, Huntsman's Lodge. Yeah. So if you kind of fancy yourself as a, like as a like woodsman. A, a woodsman, <laughs> go for the... <laughs> yeah. um, then uh, that might be one for you. What, was your what would be yours, Harry? I think we talked about it earlier, uh, Edinburgh Castle, the uh, multi-multi-million. You mean the one that's the hardest, <laughs> the hardest to earn in the game, right? Yeah, the one that's going to kind of earn you the most kind of like, all right, fair play, yeah. fair play, you've, you've earned a lot of credit. So a cool thing about um, houses as well is you actually, you get the house, but you also get some bonuses mm. inside them. So for example, Edinburgh Castle, you actually get a crown. So Harry can march around in the game. Wait, as like a character customization item, you get a crown. Yes, yeah, so he gets a crown, he can march around in the Regal game. Regal wave as well. That's like, yeah. hello, hello. Yeah, and so not just that, you can also uh, sometimes get, um, well, you can kind of unlock features sometimes. So there's a, there's a house where um, it will um, enable you to fast travel anywhere in the world. So there's, there's reasons to kind of go out and earn these if you're, if you're not just a collector or one yeah. different form points or you've found saying there's a reason go do this because you're going to get all e extra perks. Yeah, I think for, for us we know that like there are a lot of people who play our game and they play it so much and they end up with quite a lot of money just yeah, sitting yeah. in their, their house and this is, some, uh, this is something for them to... Yeah, so go and buy Edinburgh Castle. Yeah, go try yeah. and earn that after collecting all the cards. Exactly. Like, it's a good thing to do. Um, should we also go take have a, have a look at character customization? Because this is something that I got extremely, like, I thought was really cool. And Harry's going to be uh, talking us through it. Um, so, character customization. Sure, okay. What can we do? Well, I mean, coming off the back of um, Horizon 3 and previous Forzas, like, you're part of an endless summer festival, even when it rained. Mm -hmm. And um, as long as the characters were up to the task in terms of clothing, there was no real need to customize them. Um, so going into Horizon 4, uh, with the introduction of Horizon Life and Seasons, we thought it'd be cool to have like a fully fledged customizer um, where you can you know, dress your character to your heart's content. Um, so looking at the customizer all up, um, you've got the same 14 drivers from Horizon 3. Uh, we've got res them so they, they look nice and pretty. Um, and then what we've done is we've laid out over 500 items uh, throughout 10 different categories of clothing. So uh, I'll quickly skim through the types and then we can probably dress up a character yeah, or two. Cool. So uh, we go through, we've got tops, uh, that's your upper layer. Yeah. Uh, jackets, so outer layers, coats, uh, par like, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, legs, feet, uh, hats, uh, eye accessories, nose accessories, <laughs> wrist accessories, uh, hands, so gloves. Yep. Um, and then there is one more tab, which is outfits, but we'll come back to that later oh. on. Uh, one thing I've also just noticed just before we kind of start dressing our like characters is the different colors. So there's d is there different rarities of, of items for you to collect? Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so there are um, four rarities as there are for a lot of things in the game. Yeah. Um, and the way you earn clothing, uh, sometimes you might get it just by um, completing different parts of the game. Mm -hmm. So if you do the drift thread, you might get a special t-shirt um, that kind of tells everyone how good a drifter you are. Um, you can also unlock them from Wheelspin. Yeah. Uh, and um, the, the final way is that in the there's a we have like a Forza Fun shop, which I yep. think we're going to talk about in, a, in another week. Okay. But there'll be items that you um, you know will win from from those events. No, that's, that's cool. So it's like it's something, something to always aim for. So if you kind of like if you if you if you're a big drifter, you can kind of show off and yeah. kind of dress your character how like to kind of showcase that. Um, so should we kind of like make some crazy outfits? Like, oh, we wouldn't give it a whirl. So let's yeah, let's try and be 
the guy at the festival that looks like he's having the best time. The best, the yeah, best the time. Yeah, the best time. Yeah. Okay, so I, I, I think <laughs> that really vibrant and like flashy, I think, I'm is very... I'm thinking animal print. In, yeah, there yeah, we go. You're, you're, you're just thinking <laughs> like lep leopard shirt, okay. Cool, and then we'll drop this jacket. Go, wait, hold on, like, I see the gold blazer. Right, just first of all, gold blazer. Gold, gold blazer. <laughs> I don't think it quite works for the lemon thing, but uh, you it's know. It's not summer wear. It's well, very, yeah. very <laughs> blingy. I think bomber, right? Like, why not? Um, hold on, what else have we got? All sorts. There's like loads, there's like loads of different variations, <laughs> loads of different things. Yeah, um, a bit of tweed. You know. Bit of tweed? Oh, that. Yeah, dresses a country. Yeah, has, has to be done. <laughs> All right. He likes it. He really <laughs> Yeah, he's just like, oh, there we go. <laughs> Um, jump through low so you, you know you got a mix of uh, trousers, leggings, shorts. You stuff. can do some really horrific combinations. <laughs> just Beautiful combinations. What are those yellow yeah. running yeah. shorts? Yeah. yeah. Wait, yep. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> and then what else have you got? I really like sequins, the kind of like short shorts. Oh, no. uh, those those look terrible. The tweed. <laughs> that, that is all I'm gonna say straight away. Oh, well, let's go for the tartan roll-ups. What? <laughs> tartan roll-ups. <Yeah. laughs> Why not? Yeah. <laughs> all right, feet. Cool. Um, right, Captain Kilvillard has, has come in and said, can a man wear a dress? Yeah, so for, yeah, for us, yeah. for us, like, accessibility and inclusivity is super important. So, mm -hmm. for us, we don't really specify gender at all in the yep. game. So, it's just you pick the character that, you know, you think resembles you, um, mm -hmm. and you pick the clothes that you want to pick, and there's no limitation. Yeah, clothes, like clothes are clothes. Uh, just to show you that, um, any concoction you come up with with a character, you just flip across the next one and the outfits moved across. So. so it's just kind of like all kind of seamless between yeah. every character yeah. and customization. It's what you want to wear, it's what you want to choose, uh, is what you can what you can have in the character. Yep, yeah, sure. So um, we can should we should we have a look at outfits, right? Because it was the last thing that we kind of we, we did mention was to have a look at that because it it did make me laugh. <laughs> Two seconds. Yeah, cool. So we'll leave them at that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll we'll go past all the accessories. Uh, clip on mustache. Santa's tash. Good it's got to be done. Yeah. Add the Santa's tash. Oh. Uh, we'll go for the gold. Oh, gold one. <laughs> um. Yeah, but then yeah. So outfits are new. Uh, we're looking to extend them um, and get a lot more from them. But yeah, we've gone for. I'm drawn to the disco chicken. A chicken suit. suit. Yeah, the uh, the disco chicken's good fun. <laughs> it is very bright. That 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 is the guy having the that, most fun at the yeah, festival, yeah, right? Definitely. You see him, follow him, he'll be there. He, you will have a good time. Yeah, he'll be singing it <laughs> coming home, like, all, all the way down the road. Right. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I, I, I was determined to get it's coming home somewhere. I'm still an optimistic individual. Um, so we've got all those suits, uh, and then you've also got emotes as well, don't yeah, you? Yeah, so we can take a look at those. I'll jump back out of the chicken suit for that. So uh, we've got 50 emotes at launch, um, all included in the game. Again, going through the same rarity trees. Uh, we've got a good mix of dance moves, memes. Can we uh, see the dab? It's, it's, if, I, if I'm so, I apologize, but there, <laughs> there we go. Like, it, it, he's it's, very proud of it. He's very. He, he shouldn't be proud of that one, but he should. Uh, he has. <laughs> oh, no. So yeah, yeah. If you want many different combinations of dabbing, and I think I think we've got to do a floss as well. Right, we've got got to show the floss. Indeed. Right, I'm just going through my favorite my hey. favorite ones. <laughs> right, so go there. Uh, one final question as well uh, for you, Harry, is can we wear kilts in the game? Is there a kilt? There is absolutely a tartan skirt. It's a tartan skirt. <laughs> so it's as close to the kill. Oh, yes. I think it was that around. I can Ralph see Ralph's face over there. Like, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> right, but I, we're, we're going to get Chris. We're going to take a look at cards now. So um, big thank you, Harry, for no kind of showing us through that. It's awesome. I can't wait to see all the different combinations that everyone comes up with. Uh, but thank you very much cool. for showing thank that. You. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, we're going to get Chris in now as well to kind of show us through, talk us through the cars and kind of like how they work with your houses as well. Uh, so thank you very much for joining us, Chris. No problem. Um, shall we get a look into kind of one of the most important parts of Forza, of yep. course, is the cars. Um, oh and they look beautiful. Uh, so can you tell us a little bit how we can look at cars in the, uh, in the house? Yeah, so player houses, you get everything that you would get in the auto show in your player house. So you can customize it there, upgrades, mm -hmm. etc. You can do designs, paints, livery stuff. Um, but the nice thing here is you can do it with, you can see here, if I just go into Forza Vista, you get natural lighting on the car. So if, if you're doing a livery, you get to see it out in the open world as opposed to in the auto show. So, so you can this see is how it's going to react. This is a really nice touch for the livery makers out there. You can go around and see how the reflections of yeah, trees and things are. the car out. you've built, like outside yeah. the house you've bought. It's just fucking sick. Yeah, so it's a great feeling. So in terms of uh, cars and customization, this is the car Andy was driving earlier. The 
uh, R32 Skyline. Um, mm -hmm. We've now added the, this beautiful Rocket Bunny kit to it. It's a really nice kind of classic looking kit, but it's actually from, I believe, last year. Yeah. Um, so for Horizon 4, uh, we wanted to keep adding kits. It was something that was really w well received with Horizon 3. So we've, we've kept adding, and we're, we're trying to keep up with what people like Liberty Warp, Rocket Bunny, and RWB are doing. Have you got 30 new kits? Yeah, so we've got 30 new kits, um, most of which are branded, and we've also got a, a special uh, off-road kit, yeah. which we'll show later on as well. So if we quickly change our car, we can have a look at one of the new kits um, on the McLaren 650S, which is an awesome car to start with. I've become obsessed with McLaren recently, because I... Because we, we got uh, with Estra with this with the Senna it's being like the Sahara Cup. I, I'm <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah, like I no every time it's just like the Senna is a beautiful car. Right, I saw it E3, got to drive around in it in Estoril. It was incredible, and now McLaren are my favourite. It's, it's not because it nearly made me sick going around it, and just kind of it also made it's a great transition. It's one of the things that I, I found with the game is how accurate and how much work has gone has been put into it is when you're sitting in one of these cars in real life and then go and drive it in the game, the grip and like the difference how cars like react and change is incredible and like kind of reflects it really well. Um, so yeah, like McLaren. So, so you're gonna love car. this then if you love McLaren. So oh, this is an absolutely stunning kit. So let's pop that on there, have a look at it in Forza Vista. So it, it, it's an, an already awesome looking car, but with this kit on it, it just drops it down to the floor. It's going to change how it performs in game. Oh, for sure, well. yeah. So it's wider. You get wider tires with it, a lot more grip with that. Um, some aerodynamic tweaks there as well, uh, especially with the ludicrously large wing hanging off the back of it. So actually, it's something you just mentioned out with like the tires. Can you like change those in any way? So now, like in yep. customization? So uh, new for Horizon 4, we've been listening to the community, and a big ask has always been to I like to change your wheel offset or where your wheels sit on the car. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a subtle thing, but it can radically alter how a car looks. Um, so for Horizon 4, over 150 cars are going to have uh, what we're calling wheel spacers. So you can now space your wheels out. Okay. Um, we can actually jump in and have a look at that if we want. So somewhere in it, BMW E30 M3. Um, so this is how it would have sat in Horizon 3. It's a great looking car. It's on some like, really nice wheels. They're tucked in a little bit though. So, <laughs> for those of us that are a bit car ner nerdy, this is this is quite a big one. So, you can now oh, nice. get your wheels nice so and spaced out. out. So you can just get that stance perfect. And as I say, it's going to be on at least 150 cars at launch. Um, and it just it's another little change that you can do to your car to just really nail down the personalization to get exactly how you want it. Um, and another addition, of course, is drift suspension, which we've talked about. So you can now put your drift suspension on, and it gives you a lot more steering angles. So it makes drifting a bit easier, but you can hold much bigger angles. Uh, it's a lot more fun. Yeah, so we've got so you can custom, you can upgrade your car. You put liveries on and kind of see it. Because I, I we're, we're obviously in this stream looking at summer. And it's just amazing to see like all the details, the light reflections. Um, what other kind of things can you do? Can you kind of like go in and look at your car cars and like the outside? Yeah, as you would in the showroom. Sure. So, Forza yeah. Vista's all still here. You can, I mean, you can paint in here as well, right? And that's there's something really cool about just like being at your house painting your car. It's like, <laughs> it's just, you know, it's a, it's a dream I, 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 I just get, I just get a paintbrush yeah, out and yeah, I just yeah. go and I was like, oh yeah, there we go. It's literally something I do on my driveway. It's yeah, normal, right. right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> just yeah. Especially when it's Edinburgh Castle as, uh, yeah. as your driveway, yeah, you know, yeah. it's like, let me just do a few touch ups and stuff like that. It does look absolutely incredible. And like, I, I love player houses and what it's going to help bring to it. Is there um, anything else from player houses that players can do? Is there from up, so we looks customization you've got it where you can get new perks you can change your cars you can add liveries yeah. all the customization like i'm really excited to see what players can kind of get in and do um but i th i think we need to start doing some like challenges and stuff yeah. now so i think we're going to get ralph and ben back in to kind of the try sheep the sheep yeah. challenge yeah. which it is but guys that is player houses um it's a really awesome new feature 12 new houses i'm excited to see see it in the game when it comes out on the uh, 2nd of October. So thank you very much, Grant. Thank you very much, Chris. Appreciate thank it. Thank, thank you. you very much. And now what yeah. we've all been waiting for, 
to run over sheep. New body <laughs> or attempt to run over sheep. I can't really say that, can I? It's like, let me go on the, she the sheep. Don't worry, guys. We'll still have a full stream after this. Right. So, guys, remember as well, this is a developer's build. So, if we do something to the sheep that's not supposed we're to be right. done. We're not going to do anything. <laughs> not do anything to the sheep. The sheep. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> volumizing shampoo. Uh, we are, yeah. Uh, since E3, uh, obviously there's some sheep in the demo and uh, a comical sheep in the in, in the video. Yeah, yeah maybe uh, not. The, the trailer. Um, and a lot of people have been saying, can I hit the sheep? Um, and uh, I thought maybe it'd be fun if we go and see if we're, uh, if you can. If, if, if I can. And um, well, maybe it'd be more successful than trying to get through that. Don't, don't, <laughs> wait, let's not bring that up, okay? It was one time. So in the E3, in the E3 demo, at the end of one of the showcases, there's this little concrete tube, okay, that you have to thread the needle through. And I think I tried about 10 times, and I just kept hitting the concrete, which was quite stressful. It was, it okay, was, it was so. It was a good moment, it was a good moment. Mm -hmm. uh, am, I, am I up first? Mm -hmm. So, okay, what the objective we've come up with here, okay, is it's the first one to get it, into the sheep into the horse in the quickest time i, th I think is the thing you can do it <laughs> and we, we haven't got a clock so we're just going to deem or oh, actually the, i think the mixer chat can decide who's the been the most successful <laughs> at, uh, at herding the sheep and also someone was wanting to see cockpit view earlier so so there you go yeah there's been cockpit right there we go I feel like maybe they're, they're, they're right, running away from they're you they're these sheep you've, you've completely <laughs> lost them they've just disappeared yeah. Actually, one other thing that's worth calling out there is we, we now have this viewer standard on all of our cars. This is brand new. So oh, this is awesome. Yeah, so this is something that mm. um, we did for the E3 demo last time. Uh, so it uh, looked really great. What if you have your clerk. Uh, at home. Um, so now everybody's, uh, everybody's got that option. But it is on, it is on all cars now, I yeah. think I am right. That is correct, yeah. yeah. Um, Daniel Banks has actually just asked, is, is that the white horse? It is. It is the white horse. I think that's going to be the amazing thing is all the little details that people notice and like kind of all the landmarks and areas. I think that's something that it's peak players is going to get, especially if you're from the UK, from Britain, you're just going to be like, oh, this is a really cool thing to see. I tried like the, to it's like the balloons all at Brist around Bristol. Mm. I tried right. to get a good run up at them that time. Obi21 says, Whoa. you are ruining someone's farm. <laughs> you're, breaking, you're breaking all their walls, you're knocking all the signs over. That is. So honestly, that was one of the things I heard most post E3, uh, after are there potholes, um, was um, would someone think of the poor farmers? <laughs> right? All the all the, the the sort of dry stone walls, which you know, which are all over Britain, and we couldn't not include, and we also couldn't make them like unbreakable because that would just be you know that would not be fun. Um, so we made them breakable, and suddenly uh, people are really concerned about uh, uh, about the farmers. Uh. Um, but it, they they get rebuilt almost immediately uh, by by the Horizon team, uh, so so no it's one hard at work. No one, one time. yeah. If you were to go back there in two minutes, rebuilt, perfect. So uh, you were highly efficient. I yeah, sure yeah, yeah. Well, it's important. It's important. Maybe I should try to like get one of the sheep by knocking the stone into them. <laughs> the what? Just knock the sheep out of the I, stone? I, I well, yeah. Is it? I, I'm thinking of coming at them from all angles, basically. Right. They are incredibly mobile. That is the. I did say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, like, the, the, hard, the hardest, the hardest things to do in all time is like catch a sheep. Um, also, KFC Crispy just says, "Who needs a dog if you've got a car?" Indeed. It's just replacing sheep dogs. Like, taking them to work. Well, clearly not on this. Uh, this yeah. area. <laughs> <laughs> Try and like round them inside the horse. What are you, do are you doing? It all nice Shall we do stuff? a race? Should we go and do a race for Andy? Sure. Yeah, let's, let's, let's take a look at it. Cannot be on screen for legal reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Debo Robot, poor sheepies, can you talk more about the houses? Can I have more than one? Can yes. More than one house? Yes, you can. You can have all 12. So everybody gets the first one, which was actually the one we were at, um, very early in the game for free, just to oh, give you a. Uh, yeah, I know, right? Um, somewhere, somewhere to, to, to live. Um, yeah. But the remaining 11 are, are there for you to go by at any point during the game. Um, I guess depending on where you are in the world, it's, it's good to have a house you know, that, that you can restart from and that you can fast travel to, um, or based on just kind of, I, I don't know, like bragging rights as well. I think, I think maybe we were talking about this earlier, the first person who actually buys Edinburgh Castle, because it's super expensive in the game, um, but when somebody saves up and buys it, 
I think there's going to be real bragging rights about, yeah. you know, like, yeah, I'm the first person to, to own Edinburgh Castle, so. You know, just like, I, I saved all my credits up, got some got some wheel spins. Yeah. I, yeah. It's one of the things, because there's, there's a few different, like, wheel spin types. And there's two types of wheel spins now, actually, yeah, and I imagine, I think we're going to show them on a forthcoming stream uh, in the coming weeks. Um, so there's the, the wheel spin that everybody uh, is familiar with, knows yep. and loves from previous Horizon games, um, but there is now a super wheel spin as well um, and uh, as everyone can guess super wheel spins are better than <laughs> normal wheel spins. Just the addition of super they're, and you're there. It's yeah, yeah so they're actually um, three times uh, as good as normal so there's three reels rather than one which all spin uh, and you can win uh, I think as Grant mentioned earlier uh, you can win cars you can win cash you can win emotes and uh, clothing items and uh, chat messages for the uh, um, for the game as well, so they're super fun to uh, to see what you can get out of them. I just keep getting obsessed every time I see it. Look at the game, it's just like the, the, all the little details and like, it's, wait, what's that? that is, is that that castle? Was that so like that, kind of little? I was going to say for our castle fan, that is uh, yeah, that's that true. is one of the the three castles in the game. I want to say. Uh, yeah. I think that's correct. Yeah, is that, yeah. Is so, that so one you can buy, or is that? No. So this is actually the the location for the Horizon Festival this time around. So we've we've set it within the ruins of this this old castle, um, which was it was something that um, somebody somebody gave me a, a, a note to watch um, John Wick Two, and there was a really cool scene in that movie where they had like a club that had been set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen you that. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And, and it so it was like, oh, that's a really cool idea. And then the whole you know Horizon Festival, the colour and all the light and the, the sort of installation pieces you'd expect to see in the, in the festival, plus the sort of ancient architecture of Britain felt like a cool combo that we could use. Yeah, just a nice little, little yeah. combination yeah. to get it. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Banks has also asked, are bonus boards still a thing? Bonus boards are still totally a thing, yeah. Uh, and I think actually, again, I, I realise I'm like teasing stuff that's in future weeks a lot here, but in future weeks, uh, I think we're going to let you go and look at some of the more devious placements for, uh, for bonus boards. Um, around the world because there are still hundreds of them to go and find and sometimes they're just you know they're by the side of the road or in a field um, but a lot of the time uh, our, uh, our designers take a great deal of pleasure in hiding them in difficult to reach places uh, and we've done that this time uh, and I think we're going to go hunting for a couple of them uh, maybe next week uh, maybe in spring. So Go have a hunt for some boards in the spring as well. Absolutely. Uh, guys, remember, if you've got any more questions that you want to ask Ralph and Ben to answer, drop them in the chat and we'll have a chance to do them. Because remember, we're looking at gameplay from summer right now, uh, which I think is like the more traditional like um, season that players will have been used to from... So, like, yeah, from Horizon has, has always been a, a, a summer game, right, yeah. right, right back to the, the, the first one. It's always been kind of... I mean, we've always described it yeah. as an endless summer. Um, which I guess is double-edged, right? And that it's, hey, that, that's what everyone wants, but also it never ends. Um, now we have this real sense of sort of time moving on and progressing, um, and and thus you living at this place, um, like for reals. Um, so, so yeah, absolutely. Summer is the traditional um, season of, uh, of Horizon, but now you're gonna be experiencing it all year round. I just get like, every time I look at these like races and stuff, because one of my big, biggest things I've loved with Horizon games in the past is all the different race types you have. And I think having the seasons and kind of like being able to complement those styles is just going to change players' approaches and kind of expand on it. Like, what's your personal favorite in summer, especially kind of like race to go and do? So I'm a massive cross country fan um, and we have I think we've got some of the best cross countries we've ever done in, uh, in uh, Horizon games. Partly that owes to the fact that this is probably, uh, definitely, the most mm -hmm. vertical world we've ever, yeah. ever created. And I know that some of our fans have, you know, have given us feedback about Australia being you're pretty flat. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're gonna have that uh, that criticism of this game. This has just made me want to go to that jump. You know, <laughs> you, you know the yeah. one I'm on about, okay? Just to kind of see it, because I think that is the talking like the verticality of the game. There are some ridiculous jumps. Yeah, like, and, and also another thing that everybody, you know, was really asking for, which which we've got in this game, some some proper um, tarmac. Uh, Switchbacks, switch right? yeah, yeah. Uh, so you can, you know, get your drift on, and and that's, I mean, personally, that's my sort of favourite thing to do in this game is to race on on asphalt. It's, um, yeah, it's kind of super, super fun. Yeah. Wait, is that is that kind of like a lot faster? Is it kind of? I don't know. I just think there's something about the technicality that's involved with that that style of racing that really appeals to me personally. Um, 
but yeah, the, the, there's some really, really cool pieces of, of, of road network in this game that people are going to be able to, mm. to real, really test their skills on. I think we've just seen that it's from the from the gameplay that we've seen so far, just the, how much differentiation from like kind of drifting tracks, kind of on like kind of like um, more dirty roads to like kind of just riding along the motorways here. Yeah. Um, I think this is kind of kind of very Tokyo Drift, kind of going up the mountain. Um, what are that? We've got a few. We've actually got a few more questions as well. Silent K six eight six asks: Is there an airport in the game? Uh, there is. Yeah, it's actually. So it's become a bit of a tradition for us to include a, a, <laughs> an airport. Um, so yeah, we've we've got one in there. It's uh, this time. It's a slightly older, abandoned airfield that's out in the, the middle of the sticks, or sort of towards the north uh, north side of the map. And there's there's some really cool stuff that the uh, level design team have done with that as well. So they've, they've set up some really cool. Uh, how would you describe them? It's almost like an assault course there that you can kind of go. Kind of, yeah, and kind of like a Jim Cana has been yeah. uh, been filmed there, you yeah. know, kind of thing. So uh, tires and oh, uh, this obstacles. Wide body and, yeah. Is like sick, and, and, man. and it's fair to say that in the past, you know, we've always used the runway as that drag strip moment yeah. uh, in the games, but. But this time we actually have a dedicated drag strip uh, in the festival, uh, which people may have seen from some of. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I think I we were at it earlier actually. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but then there are there are other drag strips that feature in the game as well. So we actually do have, as ridiculous as this sounds, there is one on the ice lake uh, in winter. There is a drag yeah, strip yeah. on the ice lake yeah. and that's, one on the beach not. as well. If yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm right. Yeah. See, I, I think that's one of the things that just kind of helps with showing seasons and how much difference there's going to be. And this is the jump that we're on about. And then, oh. Okay, hon. This is just incredible for me. Like, just kind of seeing that. <laughs> that is very British. Yep. Right. That kind of like <laughs> that, that landscape is very Jumping British. Jumping off the cliff. Then like rock walls. <laughs> you know, not the way jumping off the cliff, but that kind of view. Yeah. For me, is very British summer. Um, a lot of people um, are asking to see the map as well if we can are we, are we able to have we're gonna do it or? next week when uh, we fix the bug with it that, 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 <laughs> that, that, that's, 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 that's developer honesty for you right there <laughs> yes yeah, like yeah we can't really show you that right now but um so we can't we can't show the map but next week <laughs> next week if you want to see the map we will take a look at the map so um next week remember that also uh, l ward has just asked is drone mode still a thing Drone mode is still a thing, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Are we are we able to take a have a look at drone uh, mode quickly? We can, yeah, we can. And also, it's worth it's worth mentioning actually with, with drone mode. So one of the things that to uh, totally happened in three with the community that we ne didn't necessarily expect uh, was that we so we um, just because we were trying to make a really authentic world, we built in all the. Uh, laybys and car parks that existed in the, in the past of the world we were recreating in Australia. And people started parking up there and having ad hoc car meets and, mm. and using drone mode to like film them and everything. So it, we, we totally made sure that we're catering to that, that now as well. Um, so we've got specific hangout spaces in the festival and we've made sure the whole world is littered with more of those kinds of areas for people to do that kind of thing. Be because it's probably worth mentioning that this whole stream um, has been done in Horizon Solo. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we, we obviously we talked about how the game is a shared world game. It would be mostly online, I guess, is probably a good way of uh, describing it. Um, but lots of people at E3 um, fed back to us and said, you know, what if I want to play it offline? What if I, what if I can't play it online? Um, this is, I guess, to demonstrate the fact that you, you can play you still solo get the excellent uh, against driver tires and a very similar experience, you know, in that regard to, to Forza Horizon 3. Um, next week on our stream in autumn, next Tuesday, um, we're going to be showing more of uh, the shared world stuff. So we're going to be showing Horizon Life. We're going to be showing some of the really cool things that you can do. Um, while the game is connected and while you are sharing the world with everyone else who is playing it. Uh, and we're going to try and convince some uh, some folks to stay late and uh, upstairs and, and play the game and with us. Uh, and get involved, yeah, absolutely. Um, so for those end, wondering, guys. what are the details for next week's stream? Uh, so that's a good question. So we're next Tuesday, Land I think, at the earlier Star. time of 7 p.m. British summer time. Yep. Do your uh, um, your math on that, depending on where you live, because uh, we're not obviously uh, doing it with so IX. We, we've got it here. We've got Tuesday yes. the 17th. 7 p.m. BST or 11 a.m. PT. Um, so those those are the times you find. So what you can do as well is follow the channel, um, so you'll get notified uh, when when we go live, so you don't miss that out. Um, because I think that'll be a really fun stream, and also the first look at autumn. Yeah. So we're going to be showing autumn next I think week. We're, we're showing uh, they're just showing World, themselves Horizon right now. Light, uh, Horizon Life. Um, we are going to be showing, showing a showcase. Um, I believe we're wrapping as well, it up. Let's get started. Uh, which is um, 
which is just brilliant. That's why we're showing it. Is it, it is, there's, no, there's no narrative there. Is it's it just, it's just really, really, really the thread the, the needle showcase? The stream, it's a different guys. one. It's, a different one. It's, it's, a it's something one. you have never seen before, and I mean that in almost every sense. <laughs> no, but the, that, that worries me. You've never seen. Don't before. be worried. Be excited. Is, yeah. is yeah, it going to be helicopters? Is it going to be like bikes flying over you? I, I will leave you to guess, and you will not. <laughs> we we, we <laughs> will <laughs> find out now. next week. Yeah. Um, as well as just just for people that are really interested in the game, is when people going to be able to get their hands on it? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah. So we are. I mean, we're still three months away from launch. Yep. Sorry about that, but you know, but we are. Uh, the game is coming on Xbox One and Windows 10 PCs. Um, on October 2nd of this year, and as we announced at E3, it is going to be on Xbox Game Pass oh. on the very same day. Uh, so if you're in that, uh, if you're on that service, you're going to be able to, to play it there. To pick it up oh, and play it, which really, I, I, I really excited about Games Pass because it's, so it's made this me try out man. games Good I have you. tried out in the prototype. Pa bro. And it means you can hop on, play it. Huh? Hey, I know no, what I meant. Started, guys. You know Lamborghini what I meant. Versus Ferrari you know what I mean? on Forza uh, It's just one of those things. It's Feel so come join us You can get involved in. You can play. You can all these brand new games. Like earlier in the year, we can hop on, try it out. Yep. So October second. Absolutely. No yeah. So uh, we are looking forward to that, and uh, we're going to keep doing stuff like this in the interim while we. Uh, um, while we uh, continue to work in the game. In the showcase. So um, for those of you that are watching at home, that is coming to the end of looking oh, yeah. at summer. Uh, 4.4 on Horizon 4 looks absolutely beautiful. Just a quick recap, we've looked at player houses. We've tried to hit some sheep and failed miserably. The houses are so weird. Um, we've Can you think about it? Take a look at I could just events, drive to the races. castle and it take photos amazing. there anyways. Do make sure let's know what you think. Even if uh, I don't have the house. As well. I hope you guys have There's almost it. no difference other than probably the forts of Giving us access and showing us the game. You can't go in the house. looks amazing. I can't wait next week to see it in autumn because it changes week on week uh but for those who are watching thank you very much for watching and we'll see show you it time. anyways Bye. all right nice bye man that was cringe guys we are ready let's get some music in here oh my god what is what went what ensued while we were gone <laughs> first of all how did i get over here we go into drone mode what the heck is this how the hell did we get in here? <laughs> How do you guys do this? I don't see a single Ferrari either. That does make me a little worried for Ferrari. Guys, if you want to join, we have two spots open for Ferrari versus Lamborghini. This is going to be intense. So you guys heard all that stuff on Horizon 4. They're basically done with that. Let me turn off the radio before I turn on some tracks here. Alright, I think it's off now. Let's get the music rolling in. Thank you all for the support. We got music B coming up for you guys. We got a lot of tracks. So hopefully some good stuff plays. Okay. Is there anyone else who's trying to get in? I might have to send out invites. I don't know if people are having an issue joining. Maybe I'll have to reset the lobby. Am I gonna be able to escape this? Yes I am. Peace! Don't mess with my uh, yellow SV guys. <laughs> Scaly, what's up man? Tankable in the Susto. Everybody's on Team Lambo. There's no way I'm going Team Ferrari. So I hope there's actually going to be some people in Ferraris. Everybody wants Lamborghini to win. Keep in mind, guys, Centenario is not allowed. Because if we allow the Centenario, this isn't going to be close at all. Anyways, I believe we're basically starting the stream now. So what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another stream on Forza Horizon 3 Lamborghini versus Ferrari. I've been holding off on doing this one uh, just because honestly it felt like the most hyped one to do. So I didn't want to like do it right away. I wanted to have a little bit of anticipation, a little bit of a build up. And now uh, we're running it today. So if you're in the stream, then uh, I hope you're rooting for Lambo. If you're not, if you're on Team Ferrari, you can leave now. I'm, <laughs> I'm joking, man. No worries. Though. We actually need some Ferrari guys because as you can see, we have the, the LM, which is all Lambos right now. What's going on, Pro Gamer Mitchell? Did you see the wheel spacers on Forza Horizon 4? I've heard about them. I didn't actually see them. A lot of time I spent looking at the chat today, so I missed some of what went on. But uh, I have it recorded, so I can rewatch it now. Use my Lamborghini. I got my own Lambo ready to go, man. Okay, let me see. I'm guessing because of the Horizon group, we can't fit any more people in here. Guys, we're going to reset the lobby. Everyone's going to have a fair chance to join. If you're new, add me as... Oh, change the title. Thanks for letting me know. If you're new, add me as a friend on Xbox, and we can get you in here at the lobby reset. Um, but yeah, let me change the title here. Forza 
Horizon 3 Live. Ooh, I almost spelled lie. Live. <laughs> Lamborghini versus Ferrari. Okay. Title's good. You guys might need to refresh to see the new title, but I mean, you guys you guys know what we're doing. <laughs> Use my Lambo Diablo paint. Uh, we'll see, man. We'll see where the road takes us. But for now, I am going to reset the lobby so we can get 12 in here instead of being stuck at 10. So guys, feel free to join back. Everybody try to get in as soon as this gets started up in a second here. Yo, these guys never stop bullying me. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone, guys. Please, set a new free roam. <laughs> they literally just push me the whole time. Ferrari, lap Ferrari over Centenario. The Centenario will not be allowed because the Centenario is too OP. If we allow it, we already know Lamborghini is going to win. Let's be honest. Uh, so Centenario is a no-go. Other than that, everything you're allowed to use. Read my message, bro. Off key, what'd you say? Gamer tag is not up. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Thank you. I messed it up today. I had all this off so you guys could watch the stream. Let me get the gamer tag will be right there. Now you can see it. Damn, look at Uber still on the board. Absolute legend, man. It's gonna if if the other guy comes back, if uh, it's Vexy Gaming comes back, he's actually pretty close to passing Uber. But other than that, I mean, I don't think anyone's gonna be able to compete with this guy. That's just ridiculous. That actually blows my mind every time I see it. Like, how do you? I, I'm a small channel. How the hell did that ever happen? Really grateful though. I'm not gonna lie. Okay Let's let you all get in here before we pick the first race. I hope there's some guys on team Ferrari Don't force me to go team Ferrari right now. I really want to run with Lambo Drift Streamlabs you don't like Streamlabs OBS Streamlabs OBS is lit bro. I use both OBS and Streamlabs OBS Streamlabs is the way to go Hey Mitch, use the Sesto for off-road. Possibly. I could also use the Urus. Goofball, what's up? Hey Mitch, long time no see. Good to see you back in here, man. Welcome back. Elite Gaming, did you know the Ferrari and Lamborghini have their own tractors? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Well, I didn't know Ferrari for sure, but I knew Lamborghini started out as a tractor company. Everybody knows that. Blankster's just loading up. Guys, we got one more spot open. One more spot. If you guys want to join, join up. You gotta buy a wheel setup. I know, I know. I do not have the money for it right now, though. Definitely don't have the money for it right now. If there's anyone who needs an invite, I mean, oh no, no, we're full right now. Okay, we're waiting for the lobby reset. So we're gonna have a lobby reset at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. We'll have a lobby reset, and then we'll uh, get some new people in. First race, guys. We're gonna go S2. S2. Lambo versus Ferrari, and we're gonna choose this track right here, Street Race. All right, so get your S2 cars ready. I'm, I might take a look at putting on a new livery on the SV. I have this, let me know, what do you guys think about yellow sports cars or supercars? There's a side of me that's just like, wow. And then there's another side that's like, I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I honestly, and I'm not exaggerating at all, it's literally like that, it's literally like, is it ugly or is it amazing? Like, I can't decide. Even the BRZ, it's like, it looks so good, but it's also like, should I make it yellow? Like, is that a mistake? What do you guys think of yellow sport and exotic cars? Let me know in the chat. Blake Davin, Davenport, invite Misty Blake Biz. All right, bro, add me as a friend. Send me a message at the lobby reset. One hour, we will get you in. We will get you in. Maybe, oh, should we go with that? Should we go with the uh, the camo? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Just to change it up. It looks pretty uh, out there. I like it. They added drag slits. They added a lot. 30 new body kits, bro. 30 new body kits. That's pretty sick. I'm pretty excited. Hopefully they added a different brand other than Liberty Walk, but I don't think so because the one they showed as an example you guys know the brand of the body kit on the R32? Because the one on the 650S was the Liberty Walk one. I was kind of hoping we could have some new brands. That would be cool. But actually, they said there were some that aren't branded. They said most of them are branded. Which means there's some that aren't. Which could be interesting. Let's see what's that, what that uh, you know is like when we find out. Christopher, what's up, man? You're in Cali right now? No way. That's awesome, bro. 
Yeah, we got the, uh... Oh, they added Rocket Bunny? Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. We've had Rocket Bunny, no? Yeah, we've had... We've had Rocket Bunny, I think. <laughs> we definitely had Rocket Bunny. Yeah. Uh, either that, or we had it, but it wasn't licensed. I don't know. But we definitely had it. Ah. Oh, this looks so bad. Oh, this was a mistake. This is, what do you guys think of this? Rate it 1 to 10 if we should keep it. I'm letting everyone get their S2 Lambos ready. Here, let me go to drone mode. Everybody, 1 out of 10. What do you rate this livery? All of a sudden, I didn't like it anymore once I looked at the front. I don't know. <laughs> Can't wait for the game. Me too, man. It was a Rocket Bunny kit? Alright, alright. The music? What about the music, Cameron? Cannot wait to get my hands on the buy kits. Me too, bro. 7. Add the wing. 3. <laughs> Negative 1 out of 10. Oh, it's very mixed. 8. 2. Alright, well... You know what? We're going to change it. You guys got another minute. Because we're going to change this livery. I didn't like it as much once I took it outside. I'm not going to lie. Seth likes it, though. Ooh, my lime green SV is better. Lime green SV is pretty dope, actually, man. I'm trying to go with something different, though, man. Something fresh. See what we can find. Not that this time. It looked better in the thing. That's kind of cool. But I'm not going to take it. But that's kind of cool. Alright, this one we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna hit up uh, original. I've never gone to the original section. People aren't that like they don't follow those categorizations properly. Like if I go to realistic, I'll find some very unrealistic paint jobs. So I don't know, we'll see what we find. That's interesting. All black with a white stripe with green outline. If it was a little bit if the stripe was different, I might go with it. That's pretty sick. Oh, if this wasn't matte. If this was a metallic, I would have took this. But it's matte yellow. Damn, if that was just shiny, oh, that would have looked so dope. It still looks good, but it was just so close to being really freaking nice. What do I like? What am I feeling? Oh, no. <laughs> nah. What is, what color is this? Welcome to the community. Thank you for subscribing slash following the Twitch slash following the Mixer, because we are on Mixer as well now, too. We're live streaming on three different platforms, guys. I'll do my best to pay attention to the Twi Twitch and Mixer chat as well. Red. We could take a look at Red. Could potentially. We'll see what comes up here, though. Hmm. Nope. 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 Come on! Give me something that just takes my breath away. Give me something that I just can't resist. Don't make me negotiate mentally. Let me just see it and be like, yes. You know what? I, I kind of had that feeling with this. It's not flashy, but I think it's going to look good. We're going to take it. It was a little bit of negotiation, but it's definitely a nice livery. How me? What's up, man? It's good to have you in here, Kosti Rotaru. I don't know how to say your name, but welcome to the community, man. Great to have you, and thank you for subscribing. It says you're the latest subscriber. Start the race already. We're waiting for you. You know what, Minute? You can wait, bro. You can wait. Ah, yeah, the front's nice. The back, eh, whatever. Let's go race. <laughs> okay, Lamborghini versus Ferrari. Hopefully, there's at least three people in Ferraris. Please, at least three. I feel like everybody wants Lambo to win. Only two people in Ferraris. Damn it. Don't make me go Team Ferrari, guys. I know Lambo's the best. I understand. But don't make me go Team Ferrari. Don't do it to me. Okay, let's select these cars. Oh, wait, filter. No, none are selected. I love that filter thing. I didn't know about that for so long. Oh, I passed Ferrari. Damn it, man. Somebody teach this man the alphabet. No FXXK. No race cars for you guys. We don't get the Centenario. Nobody's getting race cars. So that's just not fair. Um, the Enzo. We're going to stop right. Uh, there's some of you who are going to take out some of these, though. But I'm going to run out of Lamborghinis because there's so many freaking Ferraris, bro. All right, if you're going with the Dino. By the way, I know this is like a legendary car. I think the thing is hideous. What do you guys think? It actually does look like a dinosaur. And I don't think a car should look like a dinosaur. <laughs> I really don't think a car should look like a dinosaur. What do you guys think? I think some people are going to want... There's so many good Ferraris, like, how do I choose what, let me, let me go to Lambo, make sure all the Lambos are selected, and then let me swing back over to Ferrari. 
No Chen scenario, guys. I hope I made that clear. We allow the Chen scenario. Ferrari's getting absolutely whooped. You're not, you better not, no, that's not making it up to S2. Neither is the Mira. You guys aren't allowed to use those cars. Neither is the Jalfa. <laughs> okay, those are selected. Let's go back to Ferrari here. Because some of these older Ferraris still have ridiculous performance. I want to make sure you guys can use the car you just built, so... Like, this is high up in B-Class. Maybe it makes it to S2. Maybe you can B12 swap it. 673. Alright, we'll go with that. I hope, uh, I hope that was all selected well enough for you all. Let's go early afternoon. And we're going to... You know what? Morning... Cloudy, it's it's a nice scenery. It's a nice scenery. We're gonna go with that. S2 guys, I hope you're ready to get slapped by Lamborghini, although most of you are on team Lambo. Uh so that <laughs> that kinda defeats anyways. Probably why it's called the dino. No, you're probably right off key. I'm just I'm not feeling it. <laughs> Which class? S2 guys, S2. I'm dead. It does it does. It looks like a dinosaur. I think it's so ugly. The F the 599XX isn't street legal. My bad. My bad on that one. Messed up on that. All I knew about was the FXXK. So if there's a lot of X's in the name of the Ferrari, it's not street legal. That's what I'm that's what I'm taking from this. I'm learning every day out here. It isn't fair if two people are on Ferrari. What can you do, man? What can you do when nobody cares about Ferrari? <laughs> I hate Porsche too. Oh, don't say that's a sports car luxury. I'm dead. It, oh, I already read that. My bad. I'm trying to make sure I get everyone in the chat here. Uh, I'll be back on Sunday. All right, Christopher. Christopher, oh, yeah. I forgot you're going on vacation on the days where the DLC comes out for FM7. Because we are going to be on FM7 later in the brand new um, 720S and the, the 812 Superfast. There's a bunch of new cars. There's some KTM track thing, the Bob. That we're going to use as well. There's a lot of new cars. New car pack. We'll be on it. I haven't been on Motorsport 7 in a while. I'm really nervous because if you guys have played that game, the physics definitely more difficult than this game. So I'm a little bit worried, but we should be okay. Should, I'm sure we'll be okay. The Ferrari Dino is named after Enzo's Ferrari's son. His son was named Dino? <laughs> Why the Ferrari FXXK is not street legal? I don't know exactly, because it does look like it could be street legal. But, uh, lo and behold, it is not. We got I-Rate up in front for Team Ferrari. See, there's nothing I can really do, because I refuse to go Team Ferrari today. I really do. Like, this Lambo's my brand, bro. Everybody knows I love Lamborghinis. When it's, a, when it's two brands that I don't care too much about either one, then I'm down. I'm down to go on whatever team needs players. But, bro, this is my brand, man. <laughs> we got to pull out the W for Lamborghini. Oh, God. The Venador SV is cooking these fools right now, man. Get cooked, bro. Get marinated, son. Oh, my God. Stay. I'm taking the worst lines, but apparently it doesn't matter. Javier is in on the La Ferrari squad. Okay. Javier's Team Ferrari, I rate's Team Ferrari. Javier's actually right behind us, so we might want to step up our game. This this could be close. I rate and Javier in Ferraris, both in second and third behind me. Javier's one second off, guys. You wall riding son of a gun. You wall riding son of a gun. You will not defeat me. Oh, you... S Are you serious, Amir? Come on, man. <laughs> Have some respect. You know what? I'm going to catch back up to you. I hope you understand this. Ooh, come on. Straight out. Come on. Come on, SV. We lost control of her. <laughs> Amir, I'm pissed. I'm pissed right now, man. <laughs> Wall rides past me. Damn it. All right, looks like LaFerrari might be, I mean Ferrari, sorry. Might be up one nothing. We'll see up here. I'm gonna purposely pick some tracks 
that there will be no wall riding allowed. Actually, I'm pretty sure everyone allows for wall riding at some point. So, GG, bro. <laughs> GG. Damn it. Ferrari's up 1 0. Yeah, we're over. There are three Ferraris. That's enough. Yeah, we're overwhelming them with Lamborghinis. I don't know how this happened. <laughs> Rob, what's up, man? Sup, dude? Have you checked your crew CSR2? No, I haven't. I, I need to. I've been meaning to, but I haven't. <laughs> Vir, you cheeky bugger. <laughs> Trying to V12 swap a 250 GTO, which already has a V12. <laughs> nice. Nice sports car luxury. Good luck with that. I mostly leave the stock engines in cars. I do if it makes sense. Let's do off-road. We will. We're going to do a circuit race next. And then we can worry about off-road. Let's just... I have to drive better. That's on me. That's on me, guys. I'll take responsibility for that one. Christopher wants Team Ferrari to win. Thank God Christopher isn't here. Because he would make sure Team Ferrari won. Come on, guys. Lamborghini has to come back. We're going circuit race. We're going to do this one. The figure eight circuit race and i think i'm gonna stay with the same car i'm gonna give you guys three minutes if you want to make some adjustments and then we're gonna get into this actually while we're waiting you know what no let's change cars let's change lamborghinis should we change lamborghinis should we change the sesto's a good lambo i don't know either i'm gonna change lamborghinis or i'm gonna change liveries but something's changing let me let me see what we got in the lambo department here quick Oh, the SVJ is going to whoop the GT2 RS, son. Get ready, sports car luxury. Get ready to get whooped. Do I go with an Huracan? No, 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 no. That's that's so dumb. Terrible move. The Veneno, yes. I agree, I agree. Let's take a Veneno out. <laughs> yes, that's piquing my interest. I'd be a good luck beating the Lamborghini Veneno, man. Good luck. Alright. It's basically the same car. I know. It's, it's a Venador with a, with a body kit. I get it. But it looks sick. And uh, everybody knows looks equals performance. Damn it. Load setup. Oh, yeah. I'm not messing around. You know I'm not messing around when I load this setup. That's how you know it's real. If I load the setup, that means I, I want to win. If I build the car myself, usually means I don't care too much because everybody knows me and building cars does not go very well. All right, so we're going to go with this one right here. It actually decreased our handling, but look at acceleration, launch, and braking. All at 10. Oh. This one has better handling. See, handling is going to be important. Maybe maybe I want better handling. I think I want better handling, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to go with... We're going to go with one of these ones right here. I'm going to go with this one. Okay. We've got our tune. We're ready to go. Hopefully, they put some nice rims on here. I, I am a little worried about when I select other people's tunes. The rims can be cringy at times. Uh, let's see. You have to pay much over sticker for the GT2 RS for a scar. That's crap response. <laughs> you guys are arguing Lambo versus Porsche. I love it. Don't be a wuss. Fair enough, man. What kind of rims do we have on here? Oh, no. We have ugly rims. Wait, wait I got to put a livery on it. We're about to get started. Second race of the day. Ferrari is up 1-0. But we already know Lamborghini is going to win. Javier, you will not defeat me. Not in the Lamborghini Veneno. And next time I step in the Aventador SV, it's over too. Don't worry, man. Don't worry. Actually, I don't know if we'll use that. Because the next one will be a drag race. I'm not feeling any of these. Let's go... Team? No. Team? Why not? I've never been to the team category. Let's see what they're running. What are, what are you guys running in team? No, no, no. Hmm. Cool, man. Oh, that looks pretty sick. 
I kind of want something flashy though. We had a, a more low key livery with the Aventador SV. Now we have the wide body Aventador. Uh, so why don't we go with something a little more flashy? You know? That's what I'm feeling. But it has to be nice though. It has to be nice and flashy. Does that white almost look slightly pinkish? This is crazy. Let's just take this. This is just way out there. Whatever. We're gonna go with this. Let me know what you guys think of the livery. If you get if you get too infected, invite me. I will make Lambo win. AKM, hopefully you can join on your own. Because I won't be able to invite you, I don't think. There's a lot of you trying to get in. But if you can join on your own, I would love some help for Team Lambo, man. We're down, bro. We're down right now. Oh man, what the heck is this? <laughs> oh, all right, all right. <laughs> Sam P says, "Ew, that's ugly." <laughs> I kind of agree, but it's going on the car. <laughs> the red, the red uh, on the tires and brake calipers makes it even worse, though. If they were like, if the brake calipers were blue, nah, I still wouldn't like this. I just thought it was really out there, so let's run it, man. This thing is... It almost... No, okay, honestly, it almost looks good. But it... But, yeah, it kind of doesn't. But it almost looks good. We don't have any selected. Awesome. Okay, let me just smash through these Ferraris real quick. How many Ferraris are in this game, bro? I hope I can still put all the Lambos. Okay. Oh! There's some that are not street legal. 599... This one right here, not street legal. Okay. We got those taken care of. Lamborghini! Oh, oh man. Ferrari almost got whooped. Yo, the Sesto Elemento is still a very good car around the track, so... Don't sleep on the Sesto. You guys are not using these, sorry. They're just too slow. Okay, S2. Early afternoon, overcast, sure, five laps. You know what, let's go seven. I feel like the more laps, the better chance I have at winning. But then again, maybe not. But I just, I don't know why, I just feel like that. What's up, Javaris Hamptons? Good to have you in here, man. Welcome to the stream if you want to join. Add me's friend, gamer takes right above me, Max Space V Space Gaming. Add me, send me a message. We're gonna have a lobby reset at approximately 35 minutes, 6 p.m. EST. I could go later. We gotta see who wins first, Lamborghini versus Ferrari. But then we will have a lobby reset. We'll get all the new people in here. Uh, it's beautiful in its own way. <laughs> it's beautiful on the inside. <laughs> Blank boy, I wonder how supercars will look in 40 years. I guess we'll all find out, man. As long as we all stay healthy, avoid any terminal illnesses, uh, we'll all find out. <laughs> For the most part. If, if there's any really old people in here, feel free to let us know. We do. We have had people who've admitted that they're very old. I always find that interesting. It's always like a weird having like someone who's really old watch my content. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I just never thought... An older person would be more would be interested in my content, I guess. So it's kind of cool when they're when they pop in. <laughs> it's not fair. Yusuf, stop complaining. Just get the W for Team Ferrari, man. We got two Ferraris. That's it. Just two. We had three last time. Amir is still on Team Ferrari, and I rate is still on Team Ferrari. You guys came. Uh, Amir came first. I rate came third. So you got a good a good teammate on your team, I rate. Come on. Let's go, Veneno. What? No. You guys got to clutch it out for me. It's, it's a lot of laps. We got to try to come back. Why would you start me in fifth gear? Damn it. Oh, my God. We're in the back. It's seven laps. We're going to catch up. We will catch up the first place. Minute Elf is trying to hold up every year right now. I might choke this for Team Lambo. <laughs> Welcome to the community. Thank you for subscribing. Come on. I can't choke this. We're going to catch up. We have some time. I believe in my yellow and blue banana. <laughs> oh, this livery is so hilarious. 
break. Go, 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 go. Don't sleep, Abir. I will catch up. Seven seconds isn't that bad. We can catch up, man. We can do this. Come on, guys. Team Lambo. Minute Elf, we believe in you. Just be patient. Take, get your breaking points down. You got this, bro. We don't want to miss that checkpoint again. Okay. 7.8 seconds. Let's see if we can start pulling up some ground on him. Come on. Go, go, go. The Veneno! You can do this, man! This is going to be the biggest comeback ever. I'm calling it. Massive comeback, Kavir. You wait. You wait. You're going to miss a checkpoint. You're going to mess up. And guess who's going to take advantage? This beautiful Lamborghini Veneno that has an arguably ugly lift. <laughs> go, 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 go. 7.8 seconds. Slow down, Kavir! I'm not making up any ground on him. <laughs> I'm catching up to other people though. How is this man pulling away? I'm driving well. No, no, this is not acceptable. We will catch him. No, the last Ferrari is good. Damn it. I should have allowed the Centenario. Come on, go, 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 go. 6.9, 6.9, come on. Catch up, man. Don't give up. We have a little bit of time left. Break. Accelerate. I, I, I swear, if you're wall riding, bro. If you're wall riding to maintain this lead. You know what? Screw it. If you, you want a wall ride, you wall rode last race. You're definitely wall riding now. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he might not be, but... He also might, so I think we're just gonna wall ride a little bit at times. <laughs> All right, I, I don't know how to wall ride <laughs> when you don't know how to cheat. <laughs> I'm not the best at wall riding. That was a mistake. I thought it was gonna help. I don't know. Everyone else seems to be good when they when they do it. Me, not so much. Malive catch up to him. Malive is a good racer. He's got time. I believe in Malive. He's got this. This is definitely a wall ride section. Yeah, right there. Go, 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 go. I don't know if that's any faster. Like, is that... I don't think it is. I'm not going to do it anymore. Veneno Special Edition is based on the Aventador. Go, 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 go. Peace, I rate. Oh, damn. Avir's driving way too well. We're going to need to win the drag race between the Sesto and the 458. Oh, I'm so pissed. And we have to win off-road. I can't believe I missed the checkpoint, man. Come on. <laughs> Why you got to do that? Why? He's pulling away from the competition. It's absolutely going Team Ferrari all the way. Clutching out. Breaking my hopes and dreams. Damn. Well, you got two laps, man. You got two laps. Whatever you do, just take it nice and easy. And hopefully, Habib will mess up. We could have beat him on the first race. This man is an expert wall rider, though. Stay on the track. Stay on the track. By that I mean smashing the walls and go off the track. What's up uh, R4M, good to have you in here bro. Welcome to the stream. Ferrari, if they win this, Mall of is close though. Ferrari, if they win this, we'll be up to nothing. And then we have an off-road event as well as, by the way guys, the off-road event is gonna be S1. As well as a drag race. We're going to see who can take it. Uh, I hope, I really do hope Lamborghini can come back. Uh, I blame Lamborghini's, you know, losing right now on me. I'm going to take responsibility for it because I was in first both times. And then we ended up blowing it. This time we missed a checkpoint. Last time a beer passed us. So hopefully, 
in the next two events will you do well? I do feel like I'm usually decent at off-road events. And the Sesto Elemento is just as good, if not better, than the 458, possibly. So, we'll see what happens on the drag strip, man. Ball in two seconds behind at the finish. GG. Ferrari's up 2 nothing officially. Damn it. Oh, bro. Amir is clutching out right now. Mac, this is not off-road. Maybe I could have won. Yeah, we'll see what happens, bro. I'm a big Lambo fan. Scar, well, we're going to try to do you proud out here, man. We're going to come back. Good job, Mala. Thanks for fighting, trying to get that W. But we couldn't keep up with Avir. Milan, what's up, man? Welcome back. Sesto is better than any Ferrari. I hope you're right, man. 458 has a chance. Well, we're going to see, guys. What do we... Do we go off-road or do we go drag race first? I think... We're going to go drag first. Drag race first, guys. I'm going to get a Sesto Elemento uh, drag tune on here. This is going to be... Yes, the Veneno is street legal. This is going to be intense. This decides it. It's do or die for Lambo for the next three events. We need to win two to tie it up and then have a tiebreaker. Uh, in Infected. Now, this has happened before. We've come back before being down 2 nothing and won it. So we're going to see what happens, guys. Susto uh, isn't street legal. Oh, damn, it isn't street legal. I forgot. I forgot. We're going off-road first to at least give us some hope. Maybe we can get lucky. No. We had to win these races. Oh, no. This is not good, guys. S1 off-road. This is really not good. Sesto is not allowed for the drag race. Oh, uh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, damn. <laughs> this, is so, this is not good. Well... Good luck. We have to get lucky on the drag race. I don't know how, but we have to get lucky. I, I don't know how, though. My car is already built. I'm so nervous now. I wanted Lamborghini to come back, and now I don't know. I really... I, I, I Slim chance. It was already a slim chance. Now it's a really slim chance. Guys, you have until I get to the event to have your cars ready. Oh, man. This is not good. This is not good. I'm so nervous. I'm freaking out. <laughs> What do you mean, no Sesto? Sesto is not street legal, so we cannot use the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. It's not allowed. Let me get some agua. I gotta hydrate. <laughs> I love cars. Did you say it's legal in America? I don't think so. That sucks. We needed that Sesto for the drag run, man. We really needed it. Use the Centenario for the drag run? I don't know about that. I think the the Uricon will be good. I think the Aventador will be good. We decided we're going S2 already, guys. So keep that in mind. It's already an S2 run. I think maybe the Uricon will be the best choice. Um, it's really lightweight. We can D12 swap it. Uricon might be the best, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a look. We'll see. Good luck to all the Lambo guys. We're going to start this up, guys. Use the Aventador. You think? I feel like the Uricon would be better in S2, though. Damn, how are we going to do this? First of all, let's just focus on winning this. We'll worry about the drag race after, guys. Let's not get distracted by the drag race. Let's win out on this, uh, 
on this off-road race, and then we'll worry about the drag race after. Is this street legal? It might be. I don't even know, man. Okay, guys. Team Lambo, let's finish strong. Let's finish strong. Maybe we can put ourselves in a position to win. Maybe. You know what? I'm going to make this miserable. I feel like I can win. Good songs coming on right now. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Oh no, it's supposed to be S1. It's supposed to be S1. My bad, guys. I was like, what the heck? Why is there all these next level cars available? S1. I hope everyone gets in. Here we go. We need to get this W. We got this, guys. Why do you wear earphones? This is how I actually listen to the game and the music so you guys don't hear it in the mic. That's why I wear headphones. I used to wear my Beats, but then I broke my aux cord. No, I lost my aux cord. Yeah, I lost it. Gee, Mitch, this isn't fair. You allow the 458 Special, and you don't allow the Sesto. The 458 Special is, is street legal. I know. It sucks. But it, it, the Lamborghini, Lamborghini, we should have won those races, man. I don't know what we were doing. I don't know what I was doing. We should have won the races on the track. There shouldn't have been a problem. Uh, the drag race should not have been a problem. But it is now. Because we lost. It's on us, guys. It's on us. They beat us at our own game. And now we have to try to beat them at their own game. Let's just focus on the off-road. Bro, read my message. It's an import since race better in CSR 2. Read my message. It's, it's important since I race better in CSR 2. Could you retype it in for me, bro? Well, Lambo took an L. Don't lose faith yet, man. We could get lucky. It's just as good. It's just good as car is not. Yeah, and I know of is pretty good at drag races too, so I am worried. But let's see what we can do. Come on, guys. Let's get this W. Let's hopefully win a drag race. We'll see what happens. Go, go, go. You know what, guys? What if we do this? What if we go infected next and then drag race tiebreaker? So at least we give Lambo a little bit of a chance. What do you guys think? Infected? And then if Lamborghini can win the, in the Infected, then we go to the Drag Race to see if one of these Lamborghinis can get lucky. Of course, we have to win this race first. But let me know in the chat if you'd rather do that than go straight to the Drag Race. Either way, Ferrari will have a big advantage, but at least, at least it will make this a little more interesting. Alright, Mahler's behind us. That's good. Mahler, this team, Lamborghini. So I don't mind having you here with us, Malu. <laughs> don't mind at all. I think he is anyways. Yeah, he is. He's in the worst. Oh, I got really scared for a second there. Go, go, go. Let's go, Malu. Let's get this. I think Machine Core might be Team Ferrari, so let's keep this up. Oh, my God. Flying out here. Don't worry, Molly. I got it, man. Catch back up, though. Catch back up. Don't leave me alone with machine core. Don't leave me alone. <laughs> Please. I don't want to... Are you serious? Come on. Go, 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 go. Go, man. I hate this tune, by the way. It's so floaty. The rear end just sliding all over the place. Come on. No, don't lose this. We got this. Straight on the jump. Machine core is going to mess up on the jump, hopefully. Who is this? Oh, it's just a streetcar. Come on. Don't lose. Don't lose. We don't lose out here. Get the W, man. In the water, we're okay. Come on. There's something about this tune that's really scaring me right now. 
this doesn't maybe it's too bouncy i don't know something about it just feels like it wants to lose control on me i'm so nervous guys we need to get this to give lambo a chance this is such an intense moment coming near the end our car is freaking out a little bit through the water nice and clean we have a couple more corners left what are you doing what are you doing man i didn't even turn my wheels Molov is, Molov is in the Norris. Molov got back in front. Okay, I think Machine Corps might be in the Norris too. Oh, thank you, Molov. Thank you for not leaving me alone. Oh, bro, I was about to rage so hard. Because I was literally just going in a straight line, and then the car flipped. Like, I didn't even turn the wheels. I was going to wait till we had traction and then turn. And we flipped before we even had a chance to gain traction. Thank you so much, Molov. I thought Machine Corps was Team Ferrari. Apparently not. So we're good actually. The Ferraris were all the way in the back. I rate is not even driving. Avir's in the back. Apparently Lamborghini absolutely dominates off-road. But I guess it makes sense. We're the only ones with SUVs. So, but the Gallardo, the Gallardo did pretty good too there. So guys, infected or drag race? Let me know in the chat right now. Infected or drag race for the next event. I'm thinking infected would be a better idea, not gonna lie. Especially for Lamborghini. <laughs> Urkan for Vermonte, Aventador, SVJ. I can't wait, man. Had a terrible, terrible tune. Oh, damn. We have two votes on drag. One on infected. Two on infected. Three drag, three infected. Alright, four infected. Four drag. Somebody break the tie. Minute Elf just went infected. Minute Elf is a new vote for infected. I think it infected one. Sam P voted infected one, guys. Yep. Wayno just went infected. Infected one. <laughs> infected one. Let's go, Team Lamborghini. We have a chance. At the end of the day, even if Lamborghini wins this, the death match is still going to be a drag race. So if you're on Team Ferrari, don't get too triggered. You're still almost guaranteed the win, as long as Javier doesn't choke, which I really hope you choke, Javier. I really hope you choke your ass off, man. Like, maximum choke level, Javier. Like, I'm talking, just put it in reverse, Javier. Just put the car in reverse, please. Same with you, Irate. Same with you. Oh, man. Okay, let me uh, let me make sure this my Lamborghini is as fast as possible. We're gonna go. Let's see what Lambos we have to work with. Lamborghini. Oh, I already have this Sesto tune. I'm just gonna use Abir's Sesto tune. It's going to be anything goes. Infected, except of course you're gonna have to use a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. Javier, remember, reverse. Remember to reverse on the drag strip. It gives you the best launch. Yeah, mom spaghetti type choke. Uh, exactly. 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 <laughs> We're gonna need it. Okay. We'll go with Ferrari first. Oh, it's frozen. Don't you dare freeze, you son of a gun. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, nope. Here we go. What? What? Cancel. What the hell just happened? Okay, yeah, we're good. What? Oh, I have cars selected. So I I never read. When pop-ups pop up, I just like try to get rid of them as quick as possible. Never even try to read them. We have some stuff to unselect, guys. I love this Mercedes. I want to own this Mercedes. This needs to be my daily driver. This is such a beautiful car, man. Looks so good. Love that car, man. Looks wise, love it. I don't know that much about it, but I love it. <laughs> okay, let me create and then go back because there's more editing I have to do. Come on, Ferrari. Where you at? Where you at? Surprised nobody touched the F50 or F40. Okay, 
Okay, here we go. Lamborghini time. I should have allowed the Chen scenario. Regrats, man. Regrats. Damn it. Chen scenario, bro. I should have allowed it. So pissed. So pissed. Okay, maximum effort in this infected match, guys. Lamborghini has to win. The best engine AMG ever built. Really? I need that car. If I'm ever rich, I'm buying that car. It's just so freaking... Oh my god, bro. It's so nice. The Apollo IE. And whatever that car was. In my garage. Side by side. Yes, please, man. Yes, please. Both in white. If not, then the Apollo IE in all black. And that car in white. Oh. Damn. Like, <laughs> some good looking cars. No Porsches, by the way, sports car luxury. No Porsches. No, I'm joking. If I was super rich, I would get a, I would get a 918, of course. Of course I would own a 918, my god. Um, and I would own a GT3 RS. Why not, man? Why not do a live stream for CSR2 for the people who cannot play Xbox Live Gold and Forza 3 because I mostly play CSR2 and I'm pretty good at it. Plus, is your CSR2 crew name Mitch? I don't know what my CSR2 crew name is. When I get a new phone, I might look at some mobile games possibly, just like here and there. It will not be a focus, but possibly we will see as of right now. It's a no-go, man. It's a no-go. All right, Blankster, if you are in a Lamborghini, hunt down Javier and I rate. That is your job as a Lamborghini owner. Hunt down Javier and I rate, man. While I patiently, oops. Oh, I can't, I can't reset, I forgot. While I patiently wait up here, where it's safe. I will sit here and you hunt them down. Oh, he got a deer! Okay. Oh, man. Okay, now you need to get... Irate, man. Irate is your next goal. Well done. Blankster is clutching out right now. You ain't catching me, son! Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, man. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> oh! What the heck? Alright, I'm coming after Irate. Oh, he popped out of nowhere, man. I gotta find Irate. Who's this? That's Cameron. Damn it, damn it. Go, go, go. I gotta find Irate. Come on, Blankster, let's find him. Scaly Gem, we gotta find Irate. Where is he? That's Machine Core. We're not gonna touch him. Molive, that's Molive. Not gonna touch him. We need to, all we have to do, guys, is take out Irate. That's it. Find him, hunt him down. That is Cameron again. There's some other people coming over here. That was not Irate. Irate, we found him. We found Irate, guys. He is by, um, by the I the Aceta Ball Arena. Aceta Ball Arena, guys, go. Where'd he go? Did he go right or did he go left? I don't. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Guys, on the right side of the map, by the Aceta Ball Arena. Oh, come on! Javier, if I don't win, I'm blaming you. <laughs> this is your tune. Come on, I gotta get him. All right, focus, focus. Come on. We gotta get him. If we get him, we win, guys. If we get Irate, it's over. We win, and then deathmatch on the drag strip. Excuse me, Scaly. All right, I'm helping you turn, apparently. Come on, get him, get him, guys. Irate is trying so hard to clutch out for Ferrari. We cannot allow it. 
Okay, guys, some somebody else follow. I'm gonna go around. No, there's nobody here. Where's my team Lambo at? Yo, where's team Lambo? You guys are slacking hard right now. We're gonna lose. Damn it. Go, 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 go. Where is he? He's right there. He's right there. Come on. There we go. All right, I see you guys around him now. Please. Oh, no. Please. Come on. We can get him. We can catch up to him. We got him, guys. We got him. It's over. I'm going to go around. I'm going to go around. Oh, guys, it's over. We got this guy. No, we don't. We both messed up. Both the people who were going around to cut him off messed up. Yes! Yes, Molim! Molim was the final one left. Wow. Avier and Ira almost clutched out. If he was infecting people nonstop, Ira was avoiding being infected really well. But in the end, we got it. It is 2 2 deathmatch drag race. Oh my god. <laughs> this is going to be tough, man. This is going to be very tough. Thank you, though, for Team Lamborghini. Thank you for at least competing and not getting 3 0 against Ferrari. I'm 17 yo Lambo fanboy, and I don't have a problem with that. Yo, Lambo's the way to go, man. <laughs> Lambo's the way to go. Sesto isn't street legal. Um, I know, man. We're not using it. It's not going to be allowed. Lambo is going to have to get lucky. Oh, I used it for the infected match. I forgot. I completely forgot, though. But, like, come on. I didn't win, so I wasn't the last one. An Urukan was the last one. So, whatever. I'll make sure it's not available for the drag race, though. That's the... The Sesto doesn't have an advantage here. It has an advantage on the drag strip, so... I didn't mean to use the Sesto. It's not a rematch, man. I didn't do anything. Come on, man. Really? You guys think we need to do a rematch? Oh, yeah, I did get irate. The Sesto isn't OP off-road, though. It's OP on the drag strip. Lambo's already gonna get slapped. You guys really need a rematch right now? <laughs> Come on, we're, we're already not using the Sesto in the drag. I know, we got a 458 on the drag strip and a bunch of Lamborghinis that are not good at drag racing. Come on, like, does it, does it really matter? But fair enough, I definitely shouldn't have used the Sesto. I had a big brain fart there, so my bad. Come on. But now, if Lambo happens to win, I can already see a lot of people getting very triggered. But, come on, the chances of them winning are literally 1%. Like, it's so low. Okay, it's S2, guys. Remember, it's S2. I don't even have a Lambo tune yet. I forgot, I don't have a Lambo tune. Wait, let me make the blueprint, and then I'm going to get uh, a tune. Don't worry, guys. We're not starting it yet. I got to get a tune first. The regular Aventador might be really good, actually, yeah. 7.8 handling. What does the work on have? 7.7. I'm lo The lower the handling, like, the better in my mind. Because... Uh, then there's, like, more room for upgrades for power. In my mind, right? That's what makes sense to me, I don't know. This is pretty high up in S2, and that's... I think I'm gonna go with the Wurikon. Should I? No, no, we're going with the Aventador. I think the Aventador is a good call. Mercy Lago is only 7.5 handling. What if I take the Mercy Lago? Oops, oops, oops. I'm trying to filter, toggle. But the Aventador has already has a ridiculous launch. So we'll take the Aventador. The Reventon? No, no. Oops, what the hell is that? Alright, that's it. Make that S2. Don't worry, guys, I'm not gonna start it. Confirm. Create the blueprint. 
Oh, we have some stuff to uncheck too. Selected. There we go. Okay, blueprint. All right, let me get a tune on the regular Aventador now. Then we're ready to go, man. I selected the Cesta. Damn it! Oh, thanks for reminding me. I don't know why I keep forgetting to not select the says still. I will remember. I'm going to remember, guys. I'm just going to throw a tune on my Lamborghini Aventador. Feel free to, to send me a ton of reminders. But I'll remember to take it off. I'll remember to take it off. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I honestly did not mean to do that. Here's our Aventador. Thanks for... Thank other people. Wreck Ferrari people. We'll see what happens, man. Do... Dudang, Mr. Dudang, what's up, man? Good to have you in here, bro. Welcome. Uh, it is 2-2. Two, two. We're having a death match on the drag strip to see what is better in Horizon 3, Lamborghini or Ferrari. We're going to see what happens, man. Come on, Aventador. The Sesto is not allowed, though. Maserai vs. Jaguar next. Sounds like a good match that we might... There's some, there's some nice drag tunes for this. We might just have the tiniest chance. Alpagu or run, what's up, man? Welcome back, bro. Okay, let's unselect the Sesto. My bad on that. You guys probably think I'm doing this on purpose. I'm really not. It just, it just happens, man. It just happens. Okay, it's ready. Uh, we definitely need a new design, though. I need something clean. This is a beautiful car. I need something clean. Uh, come on. Give me something fire, bro. I'm so hungry. I could eat so much, so much food right now. Oh, I could eat so much food right now. Hmm. I like don't worry guys I got the Sesto up here I know that's not the most promising thing I always forget but I I, I think I'll remember <laughs> give me something nice man hmm not feeling chrome no thanks no but that didn't look bad Uh, no, I almost said sure, but that, I would have been settling so much. This is a cool livery. It's ultra motive, but this is a real cool livery. I'm a rocket, man. I like his, I like his content. Attempting to win by cheating. <laughs> Please get my design. Oh, sorry, Sampy. We'll definitely rock it another time, bro. I'm just gonna roll with this one. We've wasted enough time looking at designs, but we'll definitely rock it another time, man. This is actually a pretty cool livery, especially considering someone made it. Oh, that's oh, that's stripes though. I would have liked it with no stripes. Take the stripes off. I would have liked it more, but whatever. Let's run this, man. Sesto Elemental will be unselected. You can always switch to. The winner team, you know. Nah, nah, man. I'm feeling Team Lamborghini. I go down with the ship. I come up with the... The... Flame. I, <laughs> I don't know, man. But yeah, if Lambo's gonna lose, I'm losing with Lambo. And I'm losing proudly, man. What? I already have stuff selected. Where's everything I've already selected? Don't make me do it again. <laughs> fine, fine. I will do it. I will reselect all these freaking cars. Just, oh no, the Ferraris are selected. What? I'm so confused. Lambert, oh, Lambert, what? Now they're selected. All right, unselect the Sesto. We're ready to go. Create the blueprint. Okay, guys. Good luck, everyone. 
Good luck. I believe in you. I believe in you, Aventador. LP 700 4. Do me proud, man. Do me proud. You shouldn't have messed up at the desert circuit. I shouldn't have messed up at all. I had an opportunity to win both circuit races, man. Mr. Dudang, take it easy, man. Hope to see you in here again. Let's lose with style. <laughs> Finland Crawford, what's up, man? Good to have you in here. We're about to have a, lo a lobby reset in just a second to get new people in. Guys, if you're new and you want to join, add me as a friend. Gamer tag is right up there. Max space V space gaming. We're going to run that lobby for another 50. We have another 57 minutes left in the stream. So it won't be too long, but we'll be, we'll be having uh, car meets, cruises, random events uh, preceding this likely defeat by Ferrari, but hopefully, hopefully Ferrari chokes. Javier, remember, reverse helps you off the line. It does. Reverse helps you off the line, Javier. It does, man. I'm telling you. I'm gonna help. You might be our next moderator, man. We will see. We'll see. You might be our next moderator. <laughs> Want to do an online free roam? Because I'm playing right now. Hey, fin Finlay, that's exactly what we're doing, man. If you want to join, add me. Send me a message. We will get you in. We're about to have a lobby reset preceding this right now. Okay. Have yours in the 458. Irid's in the 458. Come on, Team Lambo. I accidentally made it X class. Okay, Tankable and Scaly aren't allowed to win. Although they probably won't win anyways. Go! No! <laughs> no! No! My Ventador drag tune is beastly though. Ah. Uh. Well, I don't want to play anymore, guys. Goodbye. I'm, ending this. I'm, just, I'm just joking. GG Ferrari. Thank you to everybody who supported Lamborghini. It is what it is. Ferrari has won fair and square. Ferrari has taken the W. It's over, guys. Well done. Sean, what's up, man? Welcome. Being a moderator isn't that easy. I was moderated for two other channels and it's pretty annoying sometimes. Yeah, it can be, uh, it's definitely a task. It's hard work. It is, it is what it is, Sam P. We lost, we lost. Lamborghini took the L to Ferrari. We have to accept defeat. At least we look amazing. I mean, look at these, look at these beautiful cars, bro. At least we got some nice ass, I mean, Lamborghinis are just so beautiful. They'll always have a soft spot in my heart, but Ferrari has won. Ferrari won. I'm going to start. Oh, nice, Sports Car Lightship. Congratulations. What is a sponsor's job? A sponsor basically pays the channel in some way or fashion. Either pays the channel or supplies the channel with stuff. And the channel in turn mentions them and promotes them in their channel. It's like, it's like you're paying the channel to advertise to you. That's what a sponsor is. I've never been sponsored, uh, but who knows, maybe in the future, you guys have been very supportive on the channel. I like how other people are doing the same as I would do. What's that, Christopher? Okay, let's have a, a lobby reset, guys. Let's get some new people in here. Thank you to everyone who participated in the Ferrari vs. Lamborghini event. I almost want to cry thinking about it. But, it is, <laughs> I'm just joking, but it is what it is. I'm so hungry though, I am hungry. I really want to eat. I can, I can survive the rest of the stream, I can do that. Appearing offline, refresh. Alright, I'm just appearing offline so I can get all the new people in, guys. We're going to send all the new people invites in just a moment. Just give me a moment. Leave the group. New private online free roam. Take these to Machine Core. 777 Gaming sponsored you? I don't know even, I don't know who that is. I'm gonna have to say no. 
Lambo is better brand. Amir is a better driver. Javier is a better driver. Yeah, he's a good driver. No, we will win. Don't worry. We'll win what? Because Lambo already lost. <laughs> the first car meet is going to be Lambo versus Ferrari. Just, you know, why not? So, first car meet, guys. Lamborghini versus Ferrari. Once you get into the lobby, get your favorite Lamborghini and your favorite Ferrari, whatever it is, ready. We're going to have a car meet. The nicest car from that car meet is going to be selected to choose our next event. What's up, Crayfish Skull Lover? Good to have you in here. Skull Lover, welcome to the community, man. Awesome to have you. If you want to get in, you have time. Add me as a friend. Gamer Tags right above me. Max Space, V Space Gaming. Send me a message. I'll send you an invite. We're getting some new people in right now. I think I might have invited you to a party. I might have just invited him to a party. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> that would have been funny. Alright, you're not getting an invite, man. You're not. Ticker Stream, let's get you in here, bro. Welcome. Ethic, good to have you in. Welcome to the community, bro. Join up. Porsche is me, my heart, my blood. <laughs> Sports Car Luxury is getting, uh, my soul adds that at the end. Getting really p poetic about his love for Porsche out here. Staple Marlin, what's up, man? Let's get you in. Invite sent out. Do you own a Porsche? Yes, I do. Yes, I own all the Porsches ever made, actually. I'm. Big Porsche fan, yeah. <laughs> nah, I don't. Unless you're asking Sports Car Luxury. Yeah, he might actually. He sounds like he's doing okay for himself, so. Beast mode for girls. Alright, man. Let's add this person. Send him an invite. He might be on. He might not. He's in Africa. No way, bro. That's pretty sick. Most likely South Africa, but you never know. You never know until you know. These guys were from a long time ago, but let me at least add them back, because I haven't added them. Yeah, let me add these guys back. I'll send them an invite. They're not going to join. They're probably all offline. But let's at least add them back so I don't forget to do it later on. Minute, you you hacker. How'd you get in here? How the hell did you do that? <laughs> Next thing, I'm going to check the messages, see if there's any new names I don't recognize in the messages. Then I'm going to peer back online, all the OGs, join back up, fill the rest of this. Get your guys' cars ready, because we're having some car meets and cruises very, very soon. By the way, guys, sorry for not streaming yesterday. If you want to know why, watch my most recent upload. I, uh, I explained why we missed yesterday. And uh, hopefully you guys understand. It's taking so long to join. I know it takes a little bit to go through all these. But Finlay, Finlay has you, have you sent me a message? GTR Killer asked for a new invite, so let me send him one. If you guys need a new invite, if I send you an invite but you didn't get in, send me a message because I go through the messages next. Uh, Ethic said, hey bro, he's in here though, Santi Lambo's been in here, and we're good. We're good. Uh, Tempest Jackie. Oh, he's he's been in here. He has a few messages with us. And yeah, never mind, he's been in here. Let me just make sure, and we are good. We're good. Okay, I'm appearing online for you guys right now, man. Where's the car meet? I don't know. I don't know. Off key, you take Porsche over Lambo, but would struggle between Ferrari and Porsche. Damn, not a not a Lambo guy. Understandable. Like, I don't know. It, it kind of depends what you like about cars. Like me, I love performance, of course, but I love aesthetics, man. And for me, the Lamborghini looks so good. It looks so good, bro. Um, compared to even compared to Porsche, I like the look of Lamborghinis more than Porsches. Me personally, anyways. That's a big reason why I love the Apollo IE. It's not the fastest car in the world, but it just looks so good. And the sound, the sound V12, V12 sound looks boom. That, those are my morals. Those are my values. <laughs> right there, man. Stop appearing. Off. I should be appearing online for you guys now. What Lambo do I want to take out for this car meet, though? Oh, I'm so hungry. I could eat the world right now. I could eat so much. <laughs> Group C was awesome. You own a Cayman GT4, but you're 15 and you... Yeah, bro. Sports car luxury, never, uh... Never take your situation for granted, bro. 
We're all very jealous of you. <laughs> oh, damn. That's sick. What one do I want to take? The, the Aventador SV? The Aventador LP? 700-4? The Chantanario? The Murcielago? The Reventor? Change it up. We'll take out the Reventor. Maya May. Sorry. Hey, my friend. Welcome back. Good to have you back in here, bro. I prefer the B10 sound, to be honest. Listen to the Apollo IE, you guys. Just listen to it. it. It doesn't sound the same as your average V12. It just... It sounds so good. It sounds so good, man. I love it. <laughs> Where's the car me? I don't know yet. I'm an old gamer. I don't know if I'm an old gamer, I guess, but... Fair enough. What is this? Geometric camo. I think that's what we already have. I think we took it because we were like, what the hell is this? That's kind of sick, but I'm not going to use it. The front just seems a little bit cluttered too much. The front should have been a little bit cleaner. I would have took this. I would have, but I'm not. <laughs> Red Bull one's kind of cool. Can you I can, girl, I can hear it. <laughs> Mitchell, read my messages. Don't be jealous. Racing has its own struggles. No, jealous of your life situation. Like, I wish I had a Cayman GT4 at 15 years old, too. I'm not trying to, like, it's not me being like, oh, you're some rich kid. No, like, I'm sure your family worked really hard for their wealth. That's awesome, bro. But I'm just saying, like, obviously, a lot of us are very jealous. Mitchell's 21? Yes, I'm 21. I know there's definitely a lot of issues that come with racing, for sure. Jarrison, you, what's up? Can you invite me? I would love to, man. You literally just missed the lobby reset. Like, we just filled up the lobby, so I can't. What I can do, man, is if you add me, uh, I will be able to get you in tomorrow 100%. I've been watching a little bit of Daily Driven's Daily Driven Exotics content recently. So I'm a little bit more familiar with them. What do you think of this livery? I think it's pretty nice. It's not bad. It's not bad. Our, our car meet is going to take place. We'll come, we'll come to the docks. Why not? Docks are a nice place. What's 9 plus 10? <laughs> nice, man. Uh, I'm not jealous because I want to make my own money and buy expensive cars. I Scar, I definitely agree with you in that aspect, 100%. I feel the same way. Um, but I mean, obviously, I'm not. I'm not gonna pretend. I still have jealousy. Like, I would still love to look in my driveway right now and be like, "Hey, there's a Cayman GT4 there, and here's my race car." Uh, you know, in the garage, you know? Of course, I'm jealous of those aspects, you know, what comes with that that lifestyle. Uh, and that's why we're all, I guess we're all working towards that. Of course, I agree. I think you'll appreciate it way more if you work for it. I think, like, I, um, yeah, I don't know. I think you'll appreciate and enjoy it more if you've earned it. I would agree with that. So I, I know what you mean, Sam Pete. Look at the variety, the colors. Bro, line this up. This is this is dope. Get this Aventador SV lined up. The color, like, variants, aw. Oh. No. That green SV would have been perfect. <laughs> Alfredo, what's up? First time I took the Cayman GT4 to the track day. Everyone was staring at me so bad. I was thinking, what have I done that told me I was the youngest? Yeah, that's another thing too, eh? If you're, if you're rich, especially if you're rich and young, I'm not calling you rich, but if you're doing well and young, I feel like people are kind of asses to you, like off the bat. People just assume that all rich people are like asses, and they see somebody, like if, if people, the average person that sees a 21-year-old in a Lamborghini just doesn't like them. Right away does not like them. And it's just like, I think it's just a mixture of jealousy and like, um, kind of just labeling them all as like, 
assholes, but today there's actually a lot of young people who have earned their way to like wealth on their own and stuff. Uh, and there's a lot of people who are down to earth that are rich as well too. I just, I don't know. I feel like I feel like sports car luxury probably gets that a lot. If you pull up in a Cayman GT4, you probably get that look like you, like you're not one of us. You know, I'm in my old beater Honda Civic with a turbo. <laughs> Giving you dirty looks. I'm sure he gets that a lot. Let's see what you guys are saying. Andrew, what's up, man? Can I join? If you're new, you can definitely join tomorrow, bro. Add me as a friend. Send me a message. The lobby reset just happened, so you literally just missed it. Okay, guys. Tell me the gamer tag of your favorite car. Tell me the gamer tag of your favorite car, guys. I'm in the Rebel Tone, but can't really vote for me, anyways. Gamer tag of your favorite car. I'm only using the ones that are actually lined up because, uh, yeah. <laughs> or else everyone's gonna start doing donuts to get attention, get people's votes. I'm not saying that's why he's doing it, but this I rate doing donuts. <laughs> 240Z looks better. Fair enough. Mitch, I never thought I'd be able to have a Porsche as my first car, especially a brand new one. Yeah, that's sick, man. That's sick. Like, I didn't even, I don't even actually own a car on my own yet. Like, my dad had a little bit of money early on in my life, but he kind of blew it. He lost his business for this woman. He literally just like kind of let go of his business for this woman. Next thing I know, we're living in a shelter. <laughs> Like, well done, man. <laughs> but anyways, I, um, yeah, I, I never, like, had my own, I've never had my own car. Right now, I share a beater Mazda 3 with my girlfriend. But things are slowly getting better. In the future, I'm hoping to have a BRZ. I'd be so happy with a brand new BRZ, man. Me and Minute have two votes. All right, Minute and Javier are tied. Is someone going to break the tie? What do you guys like the best, man? Oh, man, we need somebody to break this tie. Unless Javier's breaking the tie. Seth 800, okay. People usually call me a D-bag. Yeah, exactly, right? Just because you have a nice car. I know, people are asses, man. People are just jealous of rich people. That's all it is. Minutes, Javier. All right, Javier has two. Javier, you won, man. You select the next event. Well done, Javier. GG, bro. Uh, we'll see you at the next event. Where was Minute driving? Where is Minute? Oh, Minute's right beside him. You guys like these deliveries, eh? GG, Javier. Javier, sorry. Javier. Javier. I don't know how to say it properly. Yeah, but at the same time, Scar, it's not his fault that his parents did well. You know, it's not his fault that his parents are successful and can, like, provide him with the things that we all want. And, it, I mean, some people in Sports Car Luxury's position will become, like, spoiled brats and, like, think that they are just better than everyone else. But you can't, like... You can't label everyone. You have to at least give yourself a chance to get to know the person. You know? You can't just label them. That's that's the problem, bro. That's where I feel bad for some people in this situation. Because, like, not everyone's like that, you know? But they get labeled anyways. I Yeah. Goliath, two laps, guys. Good luck. Every time Max says... I gotta learn how to say it proper, properly. Javier. I don't know, man. <laughs> Every time I say it, my girlfriend says I say it wrong, too. <laughs> yeah, like, if I was in his position, I would feel bad. Because, it's like, man, like, I'm sorry that my parents are successful. Like, what you want me to do, man? You want me to just not drive nice cars? My parents are like, hey, you want a GT4? You want me to just be like, no, I don't. I want a used Honda Civic that barely passes emissions, please. Please, graduation gift, please, thank you. Like, no, 
nobody is gonna do that. So like, I don't know. You just you can't judge them. Even though a lot of people end up being spoiled in those situations, you gotta give them a chance. Just, you have to. Well, you don't have to. You do whatever you want, but it's kind of shitty for them. Um, what am I? What am I doing again? Oh, X class. I'm looking for the Chen scenario. <laughs> Completely lost my train of thought. Good luck, guys. Remember the CSR2 streams when you used to say, oh yes, I do. That was bad, bro. That was so bad. Do you know why Tess? No, White Tess? I don't know what that name is. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> Clearly. What you doing, Koa? Koa chills at my house now. Now that he's a danger to the community. It's like saying Xavier, but then you But then you just say it with a H. Javier Xavier Javier Javier Xavier Javier Koa man come here man come here come here here come No lay down Hey, lay down. Lay down. No. Good oh boy. No. Can't bark in Canada. You get massive, massive fines. <laughs> massive fines. Like, I think the maximum fine was like $25,000 because your dog was barking. I love Canada. $25,000 for a barking dog, guys. <laughs> Take it easy, Christopher. Have a good one, man. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Off to a rough start. It's gonna take some uh, coming back in this one. We got this, though. If I just kind of not think about it too much, I usually drive a whole lot better. I just need to relax. And just kind of let the car do the work, you know? Relax a little bit. No big deal. <laughs> what about drag? No one in the race. What do you mean, man? Have any of you been Have any of you been watching the fastest car? That show. It's not the best show, but it's kind of interesting. If you like car shows, you know you don't have a ton of options, so it is interesting, man. I just watched the uh, the end of season one. I don't know if there's multiple seasons yet. I just watched the end of season one. I was so happy. So happy. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. But the car I wanted to win won. <laughs> so I was pretty damn happy. It was a seven, seven wide drag race. The car I wanted to win ended up taking it. Shit. Relax, man. Yo, you idiot. Drive better. Drive better. Come on, bro. I had a chance to pass, but then I had to drive like an idiot. <laughs> Up here is right behind us. We're in second place. Slow down. Oh, damn. Do you like the crew too? Yes, I do. Love the game. They need to fix the bugs. Once they fix the bugs, I'll be a lot happier. And I need to reduce the rubber banding. You can add rubber banding just slightly. Like, just make the cars a little bit faster if you're in front. A little bit slower if you're behind. But don't make it... Oh, the rubber banding in that game is really bad. It is. And people... People are getting really annoyed about it. Come here a minute. Come hither, buddy. Oh, shoot. I thought we took that kind of well, but we missed the apex, and that was enough to throw us right out the track. We got really lucky, though. We got incredibly lucky. we turn late. Late. We're good out here. So, guys, I got to tell you about yesterday, right? In Canada, people are good at hockey. It's just the way it is. People are good at hockey, people play hockey, 
kids are outside on the streets playing hockey. Hockey, 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 right? Naturally, my friends play hockey. Uh, my friend texted me. Yesterday, I needed a day off for reasons that you can hear more about in yesterday's upload. Um, I needed a day off. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, he, he messaged me. He's like, oh, you want to come play ball hockey? Why are you so slow in second gear? <laughs> Slowest second gear ever. Um, I'm like, yeah, sure, man. I'll come play some ball hockey. No big deal. Thinking we're going to be like on his driveway, whatever. I don't know. I, I get I get in the car with him to go. I'm chatting with him and my other friend. And next thing I know, it's like a league. Like they were down a player. They needed a new player for a league. Like a league ball hockey game. I'm not good at hockey, guys. Like I'm really not good at hockey. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm literally at a legit, like, I, they gave me a jersey, I was number 55, there was refs, and I'm out here competing with all these white Canadian hockey players. <laughs> oh, God. It was a struggle. It was a big struggle, man. He actually tricked me. I don't know if he did it on purpose, but he straight up tricked me. I did okay, though. They put me on defense, and I prevented, like, I was pretty okay on defense, but... I can't shoot, I can't pass, I can't go anywhere with the ball. I can just hit other people's sticks or like get the ball away from them, basically. Damn it, can you just can you just learn how to drive? Can you just like go down the track and not hit everything in your way? <laughs> we, how did we get in first by the way? How the hell did we get in first? We'll, ca we'll catch back up man. Cut your hair, bro. I know it's getting so long. Uh, Javier, I hope you know we're coming back. Drive, you stupid car. Sorry, guys. Just <laughs> raging out here. Let's see if we can catch back up. I really hate when rails at corners on the Agera. I just don't slow you down. Yeah, they, uh, the gravity is a big thing I don't like. I think that's what makes all the cars feel like they're on rails. The gravity is so intense that the cars are so grippy. I think they should reduce the gravity a little bit. Somebody mentioned it might have to do with, uh, with boats. Uh, so that could be a factor. And the thing is, it might be something they can't change. Think about it. If they change the gravity uh, for cars and stuff... Man, uh, what, what's going to happen to how planes fly, you know? What's going to happen when I try to... Um, actually, planes would just be able to go higher. I guess it wouldn't be that bad for planes. But boats, it could be a big factor. I, I don't know, man. Okay, guys, let's really get focused for the next little bit. See if we can't catch up to Minute Elk and Avia before the end of this. See what we can do. What's up, Young Dirty? Good to have you in here, bro. Always a pleasure, man. Welcome back. What do you guys think? Can we catch up to Javier and uh, and Minel and Molive? Molive's up there with them. We can see them on the map still. See all three of them ahead of us on the map. Please check Insta for the GT4 pick. All right, man. I definitely will. Definitely not while I'm racing though, but I will. Minel is doing work right now, guys. Minel killing it. Okay, we'll come back. Catching up to Javier. We're almost on you, man. Second lap is going to be a good lap. I got a good feeling. I don't feel like I am going to drive bad, or like I don't think I'm going to drive as bad as I have been. So I feel like I just really haven't been paying attention. Like I've just been chatting with you guys more. But second lap, let's try to come back, see what we can do. And of course, let's try to make up as much ground as we can for the rest of this lap, because we still are 10 seconds behind. That's a pretty damn big gap. Oh no, I'm here. Oh God, what the heck? That's not good. <laughs> That's really not good. At least it happened just a little bit before this turn, but come on, man. I don't think I have clutch on. I like having clutch on. I don't know. It's a comfort thing. 
but clutch is definitely turned off which is a little bit of a problem for me can we make up 14 seconds um over 14 seconds 15 seconds can we make up 15 seconds in one lap let's see it's a lot of ground to make up Turn, turn, turn. Oh, it's so grippy. So freaking grippy, man. Let's go. Oh, sorry about that wall. Go, 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 go. 13.6. We can catch up. Minute help. We're going to catch up to you, man. I hope you're ready. I got a plan, minute. And that's to drive really well and catch up to you. Oh, we just made up a lot of ground. I'm gonna help mess up on the beach, I think. Well, it looks like we did, but they're not. No, yeah, eight seconds. Eight seconds. They're right on each other. They're first and second. Mall of a minute elf. Very close. No, maintain. Okay, keep it straight. We're good. We're good. I hate this breaking point because I can never break properly on here. Like, I don't know why my braking distance is always longer than other people's. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I need ABS braking in this game. I don't know. Go, 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 go. Oh, shoot. Not too bad of an entrance. Eight seconds to make up. One lap, eight seconds. Oh, God, the dirt. Don't touch the dirt. <laughs> Nice and gently through here. So grippy. Chad scenario is just unreal. No! Come on, go, 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 go. I need clutch. I feel like the clutch helps me accelerate sometimes. Because I can drop the clutch. Like, I can max RPM and then drop the clutch to get a little bit more wheel spin instead of these slow ass accelerations after our mistakes. I can't believe we crashed. Damn it. 13 now. We're gonna catch back up. We'll catch back up. <sighs> I gotta relax. If I get too tense, I won't catch back up. And if I don't focus, definitely won't catch back up as well. Fourteen seven. Catching up. The feed is not an option. They were making up ground again. Minute Elf, you're gonna crash. I'm gonna miss a checkpoint. Thank you, thank you, Forza. Oh my god. I don't know why we didn't lose control of our car there, because I feel like we should have. But I'm not complaining at all, man. Thank you, Forza. There we go. Nicely on the apex. 11-4. We go through here clean. Shit. Shit. And then we don't have a clutch. Go, 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 go. No. <laughs> No! Sorry guys, I'm choking. General Gaming, what's up? Ashton Lopez, good to have you in here, man. Damn, I missed out on the race because of my trash driving. Ah, uh, no worries, man. I'm driving a little trash at times too right now. Minute Elf, we need you to crash. I'm not giving up though, guys. You guys know me, I do have an issue when it comes to giving up. <laughs> 21-9. We can make that up. Absolutely flawless driving for the rest of this. Come on. We're coming back, Minute. We're coming back. Don't you worry, bro. Oh, I'll be you left. No worries, man. 
No worries. Final lap right here. I gotta save time where I can. Go, go, go in the first, in the first. Hit this apex. We don't have a lot of time. Oh man. Remember the old saying? No one loves their subs like Maggie. I do. I do. <laughs> it literally faded because I was planning on changing the channel name. But I guess I could say no one loves their subs like Mitchell Phillips. <laughs> I'm trying to catch him, but he's so fast. We can see him on the map though. 15.9. Minnow, we will catch you. We will catch you. Determination, dedication, motivation, inspiration, Minnow. We're on the way. Speed. I think that was good speed through that corner, I think. Come on, minute 15.1. We're catching up. We can pass him, guys. We got this. Thanks for everyone who dropped the like. What's up, sniper? Hello, boy. Is good. The forts uh horizon through. You're saying I'm good at Forza Horizon 3? Thanks, man. I'm like, I would say I'm like average, maybe slightly above average, but uh, we've had so many subs in here who just absolutely destroy me consistently. So I don't know about good. 14.2, come on. We will catch you, minute. We will catch you. Fourteen point one. Thirteen point six five. We're almost at the end though, but if he messes up on the beach, you'll mess up. Mid up, you're gonna mess up on the beach, man. Just letting you know. You will mess up. Damn it, don't hit the walls. Six point five. I'm coming, man. Mess up. Mess up, man. You can do it. We're all counting on you. Damn it. I don't think you did. Damn it. Over the rocks. Ah, oh, GG, bit it out. GG, man. <laughs> Good race. Yes, the hat is off today, man. The hat's off today. If the car was a little bit faster, I think you would have passed him. If I messed up with us, I would have. Good race though, bro. 
We ran 832 for the second lap. We could have done a lot better, but I was happy with how we raced overall. Yeah, GG, man. Oh, Mitch, second place is the first of the losers. That is true. That is true. Thank you for that reminder. I, I appreciate it, bro. <laughs> guys, I'm going to end the stream off here because I'm starving. I'm dying. I'm dying. So I hope you guys understand. I'm going to end the stream off here. We'll be back on 8 p.m. on Forza Motorsport 7, hopefully with the new car pack, as long as I have access to it. Uh, which, actually, let's take a look right here. I mean, we should. We should. It should be out by now, right? Have you? Let me know in the chat if you guys have already used the new car pack in Forza Motorsport 7. Because we got the 720S, the 812 Super Fast. We got some cool cars, man. I really want to drive them. I don't see it. Do you install this? No, you don't install this. It's just something you own. Where's the car pack? Where's the car pack, man? Alright, well then. <laughs> Annoying devil, you're a little too late to hate on me today. Yeah, take it easy, man. Have a good one, bro. Finland, you, Finlay, you didn't get in? I'll tell you what, man. 100% we will get you in tomorrow. I promise you. Finlay, come in tomorrow. Let me know your gamer tag. We will get you in tomorrow, guaranteed. Take it easy, everyone. I gotta go. I gotta eat. Uh, you said, my last watching the CSR 2, my last night watching the CSR 2, oh yeah, it's sometimes cool to go back to the old videos and watch them, I know what you mean, Evier. Uh, Mitch, bro, this isn't fair, we messed up before entering at the desert, straight line, it took 25 seconds to respawn, Oh damn, gee, that sucks, man. Life isn't fair, though, bro. <laughs> I gotta go, guys. I'm sorry. Take it easy, everyone. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys back in literally an hour and 25 minutes. Welcome to whoever subscribed. Appreciate the support. Peace, guys.